A-M-P Genius Sounds What you thought Tell me what you thought What you thinking What you thought What you thought What you thought Tell me what you thought What you thinking What you thought What you thought If you could change your thoughts You could change the world So much more to life Than chasing diamonds Gold and pearls Lately it's been debated That maybe you're in the greatest I'm joking there's no debate You can't ignore the great See I'ma switch the world up With my 15 seconds Welcome back to What You Thought, the show about everything and nothing. At the same time, I'm Darnell. The Express is moving. What's so funny, Rich? When oh, I leave the shit. house, I be telling my kids, yeah, I got a daddy going to work. You about to do the pie. <laughs> Yo, they, it's, they, they say it with reverence. Yeah. And then I come here, they have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> they say it with reverence, you're going to go do the pie. They, yeah. they treat it like because they don't watch it. So yeah. they're like, this shit's good. important because I go to shit every week. I yeah. treat this shit like church. Yeah. And, they, and they treat it with reverence. They, they almost whisper it. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> and then I come here and do this shit, fam. Yeah. It's fucking insane. Nah, that's hilarious. It's like a religion, my nigga. This shit damn sure is. <laughs> Treats it like church is funny. Oh, man. He's, nah. They treat it with reverence. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad funny, because I be getting close to forgetting to, like, upload shit. Like, uh, last Friday, once we got to upload the oh, Patreon, Patreon. And I was like, oh, shit, it's fucking 1040 or whatever it is. And I was like, motherfuckers, oh. gonna be tight. They start sending me messages like, Whoa. we get an episode today? I seen that. And I'm like, they're nervous. Some people like, Patreon people can ask. Yeah. Like, Dog, the niggas start paying, they get entitlements. Nah, yeah. they, they, that's fair. But yeah. there was somebody in the comments regular when we people. did the game show, and they was like, where's the regular episode yeah. at? Where's your payment at? Well, that's yeah, no one to ask. Like 110%. We got Baif, a.k.a. Squeeze in the building. Yeah. Back, where were you last week? Uh, my grandmother had a fire. Oh, no, that's oh, yeah, too serious. Man. We ain't expect, I didn't expect yeah. that. So I just... Yeah, that's cool. Right. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. said that's too serious. That's but thank God she's safe and everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so nothing happened to her? No. Damn. It was a fire oh, alarm. Look at you. Fucking said it low-key a little disappointed <laughs> with you. What? No, but it was a she five alarm fire. You it in the fire? Yeah, what? nah. What? Why would you, why would you, you hit? Make it? And you couldn't oh, make it? Did you hit? So what you was supposed to do? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> How, how the fire? Call Brad. I was gonna say he was here. The fireman was here. He should have got burnt in the fire. He was going. What you was going to operate, <laughs> nigga? You couldn't have been no help. You should have been here on the board. <laughs> Yo, you couldn't do nothing for her anyway. What yeah. the fuck are you doing? <laughs> nothing whatsoever. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, but she good. Grandma good. So when you learned about skin grass? Still ain't moving to the building. <laughs> Damn, son, this nigga. This nigga going. Easy. What was the nigga that was Yo. hanging niggas out of the window in the fire heartbeats? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, this nigga Darnell's gonna turn into that nigga. You kinda look yeah, like him too. That's actually my cousin. That's, that's really? My, yeah, that's Burn my grandmother's cousin. God damn, never mind. I sorry. Apology. Yeah, watch your mouth. He said, I sorry. He turned I you saw. into a slave. You <laughs> were. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is too powerful. No, I'm joking. That's not my grandma. What happened that's in all. here? Gotcha. I believe that shit. He let him get me though. He let him get me. This nigga show up one week with Auburn hair and shit. No, it's gonna be a problem. I'm not in my final form yet. <laughs> Still going. Yeah, he got the Mohawk and all that this yeah. week. Y'all niggas. I'm going to take powers. <laughs> Auburn. I might do Auburn. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga shit like an acorn. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga here, man. Oh, like I, I, I came switch in, it up, like, man. I was like, Amar looked like a nigga that dress up as like a gangster for like a musical. No, I'm, I'm Kendrick Amar today, man. I'm just well, shout out to Kendrick. Cats be jumping across the stage. What's popping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the blue rag is crazy? What's popping? <laughs> Yo, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Rar is crazy. Rar is, Rar is, Rar is crazy. Rar. 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 Oh shit. Prince and shit. Yo, wild plies and all that. Rar. Yo. Yo, and you know this nigga's wild <laughs> athletic. So he's dead yeah. nice at the plie. <laughs> <laughs> dead dressed like he just came from rehearsal, too. Yeah. Yo, what you mean? Man. 
He snapped <laughs> on his way up the steps, too. That's one twos. One twos. Now nah, you got to go left to right, though. You got to go left to right. <laughs> you know, if you play the jazz music. Those is the grease jeans. <laughs> Look at them shits, my nigga. <laughs> nigga name, those nigga name the, dude what? number three and shit. <laughs> nah. He got a speaking role. They be playing bugging. like the jazz. A nigga like that, he got he, a speaking role. I ain't playing me. Yeah, what's that? I might be a star. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That nigga name on the marquee. You bugging. What's the the jazz like? Yeah, <laughs> Singing, he's got a knife. Yeah. <laughs> and then the nigga's like, knife! <laughs> got a knife! Knife! <laughs> and the bitch go like this. <laughs> That's exactly what he got on, my nigga. That shit is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> what you thought musical coming soon? That's a fact, my nigga. Yo. That might be fire though. Well, nah, nah, well. nah, we could Fucking definitely pull that off. Musical? We, we can do that. Shit. Musical. That could be kind of funny. Son, we could do fire, that. Bro. We could do that. It would take wild creativity <laughs> to get uh, it all written out. Yeah. But we could do we're it. We're doing the podcast, and this is what we had. Like, yeah. imagine this nigga he can't directing. Be uh, no. <laughs> what? We nah. can't even have this nigga Yo, on this. The nigga shuts it down. Yeah. Do it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, I, this is easy compared to my other projects. Like that would be a headache. Because oh, well. he's not gonna yell. He don't yell. <laughs> I don't ever yell. No, the nigga's dismissive. gonna do his own Christian bail rent. Like yeah. somebody's gonna catch that shit on film. Yeah. It was like, how fucking hard is it yeah. to plie, plie spin? <laughs> how fucking yeah. rich? Plie, like, plie spin yeah, is like, crazy. It's, it's insane. <laughs> now nah, he's got a knife. Knife. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just sit up like again. That's funny. Huh? Again. You be like again. the most abusive director. Again. <laughs> again. Yeah. Again. Rar is hilarious. We can do better. <laughs> that shit. It's crazy. That's funny as hell. Yeah. Um, I can see you doing that, my nigga. That's crazy. Spin. Nah. 360 spin. Rar and they, go. They can't. They canceling like directors and shit. I think like there's this whole like Joss Whedon campaign because he was mean as a director. Mm. You can't do shit no more. You can't be mean. Yeah. You can't like niggas get fired. Technically, the director's not unpleasant. supposed to be the mean one. It's supposed to be the assistant director. It's supposed to be the. You delegate that. Yeah. 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 It's supposed mm. to be the mean one. Nah, the nigga just decided. That's what's talk to director. Yeah. He this didn't want a middleman. <laughs> he wanted direct. Not that. Nigga, I'm on the set. This yeah. Nigga just there. <laughs> just in the background. I'm like, yo, fam, do you hear what they're asking niggas to do up there? These niggas is cracking the fuck up in the back. <laughs> like, just laughing. So these niggas is Chicken George niggas just now. <laughs> they, they did do that to us. They straight asked me to dance, my man. So I said, y'all niggas is bugging the fuck out. <laughs> exact words. They, Verbatim. Y'all niggas, niggas, <laughs> white people, y'all niggas are bugging the fuck out. I didn't get paid for that. Yeah, bugging. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, that wasn't even in the shit. I read all the lines in the contract. Never once was I in here supposed to be shucking and or jiving. My this, is, this is not true. <laughs> like, imagine niggas having a conversation and stuff like, wait, wait, Pop, do you know how to dance? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, you know, just more of your stuff, man. Your, nah. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. <laughs> I don't know how to spell, nah, but they do that often. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's, this is a, he hasn't told a lie, it's that entire story. <laughs> That's actually happened. <laughs> Hey, you just nigga, dying your back. Dying, huh? my nigga? Yo, I, I, he didn't, there was no exaggeration. Nothing. It was exactly that. Just like that. You know, he walked up to Bobby. He's like, can you know mm. just a little? Like, mmm. And, and he went <laughs> like this. Mmm. <laughs> you know, pop like yeah. more of your. And I said, fam, do you be watching what I do? Because <laughs> I'll be in the car talking shit. Yeah. Sitting down in the truck, just, just talking. <laughs> When do I ever, mm, I don't even know how to do that, my nigga. I think I'm going to get it wrong playing around saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, you killed the crump. Like, you just might know how to do that <laughs> shit. It'd be, nice. wild. No, it'd be, nice. it'd be wild yeah. if he was like, I don't even know how to, and just start moving like, oh, shit. That nigga was right. That nigga was absolutely <laughs> oh, correct. You know how to dance. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm probably yeah. dead nice. But that shit would be insane. Oh, we ain't ever going to find out. Yeah. Word. It's funny as hell. That actually happened. Would it have felt different if somebody black had asked you that? Yes. And no, it wouldn't have felt different. No, okay. It's still it's still dancing for dollars. I'm I can't, I'm not I'm unable. It reminds me of that that D-Ray joke where he was like, there was like, could you be more like a gangster from Chicago? He's like, nigga, I am a gangster from Chicago. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Who do you have what, like what reference do you have, my man? What are you talking about? And I asked like, that because I've been on wire? sets of photo shoots and I've asked people who I'm shooting to get in the character. Yeah, so that's yeah. That's why I, I just, I do. What, what character? What, what, what do you Normally, ask? draw from something that are, that are already um, done. Like, yeah. when I shot um, Miles Truitt, who who plays B. Mick yeah, in yeah. BMF, BMF yeah. I told him, be B. Mick for me. Yeah. Get serious, because he's so 
Joe, he's no, he's only like 19, 20 years yeah. old. A lot of fun. He's West Indian, so he's he comes on set. Oh, but he's supposed to be more shit. serious. I said for this specific Suit. look, we need yeah. I need serious. Yeah. I need be Mick. Like yeah. cut all that. He's in Happy. whining and yeah. shit. Oh. None of that. Yeah. yeah. See, but he had the right magazine. What that? <laughs> he he's supposed men's to be with, men's with Mick. He was doing all that. <laughs> he was supposed he was to be doing in all that. Whining the fuck. He tried to do the Fresh Prince pose yeah. by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Bullets, bullets, bullets. Yo, yo, that nigga in Shut Atlanta, the, real the, cool the wild flagrant dude. I thought that was Carlton for a second. <coughs> Who? Remember the episode? Oh, yeah, of Atlanta? Yeah. I thought that nigga was Carlton for a second. The the fashion episode. Yo, Carlton told niggas, I'm tired of y'all niggas asking me to do the Carlton. You ain't see that? Yeah, the actual yeah, yeah, yeah. Alfonso Riviera. Yeah. He actually said that. He, he says that nigga from the Bronx, my nigga. Tell him stop dancing. Yeah. Start slapping shit again. Uh, That'd be funny. <laughs> but before anybody say I'm an egotist and I want to introduce myself. <laughs> we got Baif, a.k.a. Squeeze yes. in the building. Nope. Uh, Bradley, a.k.a. DJ Physics. He stepped out the room for a bit. He'll be back. <laughs> Derek, a.k.a. Hands, has been awake this entire nope. time. Hey. Fresh off of Broadway. <laughs> we got My debut. Jacob, 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 My Jacob. debut. Right. Black Black Broadway. Broadway. I'm Kendrick Lamar today. I'm Kendrick Lamar. Like Broadway. <laughs> Kendrick Jamar? Kendrick Lamar. Did you? Oh, Kendrick Lamar. You listen to the album? Of course. A bunch of times. Is it good? He it's got amazing. an Eminem one song and they sound very Eminem like. You tell me what song. Cry together. That's nah. that's Eminem with him. Nah, that's it's way better done if you want to say that though. That's what I it's a much better. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's more it's, mature. Yeah, the album is amazing too. He said like I don't know if he's still sticking by this, but he said this is like his last album, right? No. On TDE. Oh, this is his last album on TDE. He said, like I'm gonna stop making. Music. Nah, he's moving over to his own record company called PG Lang. Nope. So. Nope. You got to get a bandana back to wardrobe and everything? I mean, yeah, at the end of the show. <laughs> you Absolutely. Get all that shit back. <laughs> Chuck's everything. <laughs> Go home in flip flops. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> what if they press you outside? You'd be like, nah, this is wardrobe. <laughs> 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 that would be I, mad funny. I ain't even looking. My nigga, my fault. I just. <laughs> <laughs> they tell me to dance. Nah, Yo, you got to That'd prove. be crazy because they, uh, what's his name? They sent, uh, what's his name, to a high school, the nigga that played Peter Parker, to a high school to like, to so prepare for the role. Um, mm. The dude who plays Tom Spider-Man. Holland. Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. They mm. sent him to a high school to prepare to be Spider-Man and play oh, high school. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah. if they drop the Mar off in the middle of a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. a gang-fucking neighborhood, yeah. it's like, so you could like, you know, absorb and like, you know, get ready for the role. And he got a role. with it in ballet format. <laughs> 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 Running, jumping. To, you know you got to go into a nigga arms and shit for <laughs> Man, it's quiet, my nigga. I wasn't making <laughs> Niggas might leave you alone, though. Yeah. If you start dancing and shit, nah, like. Nah, 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 nah. Everybody just leave the block. Niggas, <laughs> niggas leave dead. The block. Ain't nobody gonna be out there while that's taking place. That's crazy. <laughs> that is bugged out. Because if you're about to, like, do violence to someone and they start spinning and start playing <laughs> and everything, you might nah. just be like, uh, I'm But them niggas are really. Is mad yeah, and yeah. you can't complete the violence that you're trying to do on a nigga that's spinning like that because them <laughs> niggas be in shape OD. That's you know fact. what I'm saying? Them ballet niggas are wild on you. <laughs> oh, man. We got new chain, but same city. You heard? Straight out of rainwater. Reg. That's a fuck. <laughs> the oldest one. <coughs> I can't clap for myself. That's the oldest one? Gold plated? Hmm? All right. Let's check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a joke? No, some that, that's a serious question. Some people have it yeah, played. Yeah, I know. Which is actually a smarter way to go, though, sidebar. So what is that? It was just solid, which is like a mistake, because it's almost worthless. You can't sell it for the same thing you got it for. It's just a decoration. You can't do shit with it. I can sell it for decoration. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I, Is that you? That's why I was surprised when you said no. solid. What? Yeah. I think you had like a mini version of him. Solid That'd be what? dope. That'd what? almost be more valuable. You said solid what? What? You said solid what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> gotta clean the mud out your ears, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I thought you said solid butt. Wait. See? I was like, I was like what? what the you were fuck laughing man? too much. You were distracted. Yeah. It's the mud. Like Still got said. mud in them. That's yeah. mad. Okay. In them is crazy. Pause. What's wrong with you? B was Say tight. That. B was Say tight that. as fuck. He was like, and it was deuce there? Yeah. God damn. Fuck out of here. God damn. <laughs> Never that. And they were washing your back. I'm like, tracks. When I seen that nigga hand on this nigga die, I was oh, like, they about to roast boy. this nigga. That ain't for me. Oh. That, ain't place, that ain't the place for me. Glad I missed out on I that trip. I don't guys. even recall seeing that picture. <laughs> so, so now he's oh, yucking yums. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now you, you said yeah, you don't yuck yums. You did say you don't yuck yums. You don't yuck yums. I don't yuck yums. Wait. Now that is I didn't yuck your yum. I didn't yuck your yum. 
No, he did not. It kind of sounded like he, he was sounded young. like he did, right? Yeah. Wait, Hello, wait, what we got over here? You right. What are we doing in here? Right. Hey, I'm sorry, don't know. Could you finish this nigga when they like see this pit? Yeah. Like you just that's crazy. Nah, how does it sound? Pause, that's crazy. By saying that, you you almost confirmed that's a yum of yours, pause. Wait. I'm just saying, you enjoy that. Yum of yours. That's, it. That's your yum. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. Nigga, up. Oh. Now, if it was. When he happened? said it, I just realized, I just realized I was bugging when he said that. Now, so apologies. Now, now, if it was, though, what would happen? Yeah, you're playing media chess, my nigga. You got it. <laughs> you win. Thank you very you much. You win. It's masterful. Let's move on to the, you got it. the intros. The reason you're you, man. You that got it. That's true. And the king of crump. <laughs> that's me, son. I might be. Uh, Damn um, it, that's crazy. What? Nah, let's move on. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to revisit that. That's crazy. It's too much. That was crazy. Man, I should have downloaded the process. I don't even want that. <laughs> nigga gonna wake up in the middle of the night like, overload the servers, my nigga. That's it. Wow. Oh, man. Um, last night you gave me a... Uh, Movie recommendation. Our father. Our father. Yeah. Whew. That they should go in and you could be wilding, but this <laughs> is gonna take too much. Really? What's it about? I didn't get to watch it. Summer's over there. Um so, like remember the story Brad was talking about? The classic mix up. Classic classic yeah. mix up. Classic it was mix-up. that was based on his life. <laughs> My son got ninety four C's so far. Ninety four. He the best excuse me, infertility specialist in Indiana, in Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. So f- from all over Indiana, they go to him. Son, get him in the room. The, 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 the let off got to be warm. So my son, get him in the stirrups, put their legs up, go in the back. You know what I'm saying? Yada, not out of me. You know what I'm saying? Then pull back. Wally. And you know what I mean? And douse that. Wait. Crazy. Then he sends Shorty, like his um, triage nurse, he sent her across the block to the, to the hospital to get the real um, specimen from son. And she got to throw it in the breasticles to bring it back over to keep it warm. Keep it warm, yeah. So she's just taking just wild pearl <laughs> necklaces for no reason. Because he don't even use that. He bring it back, throw that, and then hit him with his own stuff. The secret So sword. what was the point of him doing his that? His reasoning for doing it was he killed the little baby when he was young by accident. Hit her off the tricycle or whatever shit. She came out, bong hit her when she was like three or four or whatever type of shit. And son ain't just never been right. They tried to make it seem like he was doing it be- because of, uh, for elitist shit. Only blonde hair, blue eyes, but he didn't have that himself. Yeah. So I don't believe that was the reason. Mm-hmm. But one of the joints on there, one of his daughters, he, she was just like, you know what I'm saying, hell bent on fucking his life up. You know what I'm saying? For doing that. Because wow, this is a true story? True story. Nigga, 94 seeds, nigga. She, so, you know when you do the 23 and me at so the time? Basically, that's, yeah, to give context. It I'm was sorry, the 70s, so that didn't exist. So now mm-hmm. they're all 35 and up. Mm-hmm. And they're finding each other on 23 and Me because you, you got like a hundred brothers and sisters. 94 siblings yeah. so far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Legit. And at the time of filming, yeah. it could be more. They yeah. told one dude, they was like, yeah, you have like a thousand matches. Once you put no, they, you, you have 10 to 15. 10 to 15. He had 3,000 or something. Yeah, like way that. more. Yeah. yeah it was, Found out he had a lot of like, half siblings. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. And she was like the most just annoying lady in the world, though. The one, the joint that was so set on it. Because it's like, all right, you don't exist without him. Mm-hmm. Right? The minute people popped up, she was calling them. Yeah. Like, the second it comes up, she would call them, hey. And she said it like this. She said, just knowing that I have to fuck up someone's life every time I get a match. No, you don't have to do this. Mm-hmm. No one else is even tripping. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, a lot, she did gain a lot of notoriety and attention from it, and she did get a lot of them to, to switch up. And, like, you know what I'm saying? The thing is, this nigga's so ill, he beat all the charges because it ain't no charge. Yeah. You they, can't sue niggas for your existence, right? Hold on. The thing is, was it they were saying it's rape because the woman wasn't knowledgeable on who the specimen was collected from, right? Okay. So bomb. It's, that's not rape. The act of rape never occurred. Yeah. She was um, fully aware of what was happening, aside from the fact that he was still in arousal. Oh. Because of the touch. I was afraid to say something because I didn't want the rape reg label to be. I was they like, was is that is that like, new definition? He had I don't know. Just let off. The, the, the gun was still hot type shit, boy. That's what they said. When he came back in the room, because it was right next to the same room, the gun still smoking, leaving smoking. And he come back in the room and inseminate. So the gun's still hot. 
it's still like a, you know what I'm saying? He could have accidentally let off again in there. You know what I'm saying? That's what they were saying. So it's mad crazy because if that's your mother, like you kind of tight, like damn, my nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? You kind of violated. So some of the women are saying, I feel violated yeah. because the husband couldn't, um, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't procreate. So, so no, then some I would, I'm surprised they didn't have a case because like then they picked the Hold person on. they Hold want. On. Hold on. So, they don't pick the person. There was none of that back there. There was the a cases. booklet of, of, of shit to pick from, mm -hmm. not people. Right? This yeah. was in the 70s. Characteristics. Yeah. yeah. So, yo, I want him to be 6'2". I want him to be a banker. I want him to... And none of that shit really was 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 popping because... Yeah. Never was guaranteed. Yeah, and it was all in this real small localized area. Yeah. So he was like, sometimes when I couldn't find a donor, I just let one off in the bag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and held, and Cause held he it Because he figured, well, I'm a doctor, so that's Word. the best case. Now, so now... The most... Me hold on, let me... <laughs> yeah. The most fucked up part was there were some of the dads who thought they was the actual... Yeah, because they would bring their yeah, own. Yeah, they bring their own, and he was like, yeah, so I can make it work. So why are they violating the mothers? Right? And the dads would go and <laughs> do what they got to do. He wouldn't use their he would. own. He would, too. And now... Oh, and never now mind. Years, That's not the mothers. Oh, this nigga's wild. And now 30 years later... He found out that kid he raised and that did all that with. Wild. Now that's, not his. That, that I might kill that nigga. They stayed hurts. in the marriage might? for and all kind of shit for probably. Good. Not and his he, kid. Might? So they thought it was I some, mean, some I'm shit. I'm not going to say I'm going to kill. Like, I mean, nah, might. I'm, done. I'm, he got I'm some shit going. Kill him. He got some shit done. going in the Bible with, you know, like, be fruitful and multiply. It's all over the place in his, in his, um, in his practice, right? All these things about the Bible. I think it was Jeremiah 1.5 mm -hmm. or some shit like that. So, Bond, he's doing that or whatever. <clears throat> the man comes in. He's um, having problems, you know what I'm saying, being fertile or whatever. He goes, sends him to go let off. <laughs> Same time, he goes and does it too. <laughs> then they both get the samples. He, he throws homie sample away, blow. Shorty gets hit with the, you know what I mean? And then nobody knows any difference. The kid is 40 now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then she just thinks of it, you know what I'm saying? But the craziest part, they get to the court. It's foul, though. They get to the court. Son get time served, never a day, $500 fine. And he's back on the How block. How does he get time the Nigga served. walk past her and bump her in the court and throw the kangle on. Huh. <laughs> like this, I swear How to he, God. How does he I get time served? God. The nigga walk past her. The, the joint's there what? just mad, just like a devil, like Girl. a demon. She's like this. Oh, my God. Because because what he got was, was um, what the fuck was it called? Was it obstruction, obstruction of justice? Just, he got two uh, obstruction yeah. of just, justice charges. Mm -hmm. No time. No jail time. So afterwards, you know what I'm saying, he puts on the kangle. <laughs> and bump the bitch while you walk out the, out the court. The I'm bitch like, stopped. Every... She's so fucking mad, I rape my nigga. She said, I will dedicate my life. I will fucking fight. And I will tell, take care of all my siblings. And, like, they don't know you, big dog. You know what I'm saying? But there's a part that says you wouldn't exist. The husband yeah. couldn't get right mm -hmm. for whatever reason. <clears throat> and then there was no donors mm -hmm. at the time. Mom Dukes has you. You're lucky, homie. You know what I'm saying? However, I, I do feel like that's a problem too. To, I get to to feel no, like your whole down. life. Huh? Somebody's supposed to put him down. Yeah, that's a sick nigga. Yeah. I get it. But yeah. what I feel I'm like your is, whole life is built on a lie. What I'm saying it's crazy. Is, he said none of it was sexual whatsoever. Obviously, none of it. This is not sexual. Like he's not piping these women. You know what I'm saying? He's saying like, I started doing like I kind of was. I'm just being objective, son. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just listening. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about this nigga. I watched it like you watched it. Right. All I'm saying is it made us a little bit of sense. I want to be able to get this money, first of all, and to be able to give the woman what she wants. She wants a child. My shit work. I'm good. I got 90 in a can. 90. <laughs> very, come very fertile. Kills. I got 90 bodies. It's very fertile, yeah. So my shit work. If you come in here, you're going to leave with the kid. It might not be from homie that you want, but I got you, though. I'm going to hook you right on up. Classic right. mix-up. Classic mix up. You know what I'm saying? Classic mix up. Word. So all I was saying was, this it's very evil. Like, I can see that side. But can you not see the side that 90 people wouldn't exist? Yeah. 110%. The road to but, hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah. Hmm? The road to nah, hell is nah, paved nah, with good intentions. I don't think it was good he, intentions. He, he tried to explain it as though his intentions were good. He said, I don't I, see any of these people as my children. Th right. I think he was you know justifying what I'm the shit. Clearly, yeah, that's, but yeah, what right. I'm saying is, if you, you wake even up watch the, him, at least I know, watch him. I'm nigga. talking about the theory. I'm going to watch it, but yeah. what I'm saying is, a Matt from your explanation, which is probably better than the movie. Yeah, nah, nah, it was yeah. lit. I fucked yeah. with it. It was crazy, really the, good, and really it kept good. getting more crazy. Yeah. Yo, and you, know you know what's the wildest part? This is what made me not fuck with him. Because at first, to be honest, I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like I, my outside looking, and I'm like, come on, my nigga, he's helping people. Yeah, because motherfuckers be wanting a baby bad as shit. I don't understand. That's very selfish to even want a baby that bad. 
You feel me? Like, why you want a baby that bad? You're not even, like, secure. And you know what I'm saying? The baby didn't yeah. ask to be here, my nigga. So you better give it the best life possible. Because you bugging for Society this baby. hypes people, though. However, <clears throat> he has a kid with Shorty, mm -hmm. then has a kid with the kid. That's when I said, oh, yeah, this nigga's oh, wild. Yeah. Wait, what? He was her he fertility doctor, too. He bugged out with that. Yeah. He got his own kid pregnant? Didn't know, though. I don't think he knew. Either way, he's wildin'. He bugged out with that. He had a kid. Dog, you have Four medical. Years later, you she have got medical a picture. Files. She got a picture with this nigga mm -hmm. of him. He holding her. You have he medical knows. files. The nigga knew. This nigga, nah, he, he says he burns all the files because he was living for, He was living Because he was wild. Right? Yeah, but if, wild. The bitch, if the bitch walks in. Not a bitch. You can't hey, call her a bitch. My bad. Just in my case. Bad, my these bad, niggas my got bad. power. Listen, they listen. on TV. If she, if she walks in the office like, you got my mother pregnant, automatically he should be like, he, no, it didn't go like that. They yeah, couldn't, that's not they how you got to watch him. it, man. They yeah. couldn't locate him. They couldn't just that, run that down on my son like that. That nigga's a fucking monster. You know yo. what he did with that was wild? What? When the reporter was like, yo, let's meet up. Yeah, yeah. This and, that. and he backed out the hammer <laughs> that's on a gun Yo, on he him. said, yo, can we have a gun in here? Literally, literally. <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody y'all all right? Yeah. <laughs> everybody cool? Just... He was different. Yeah, he literally had he pulled yo, yo, the strap he out. He had this in there? Or should I leave it in the car? Because it's almost maybe an arrogance where he just... Felt like he wanted his DNA <laughs> all Yo, over the, the place. Yo, the nigga walk in shit? with the cane, take the hammer out. Yo, am I allowed to have this in here? Y'all, everybody good? Let one off in the stand and bow! Oh, shit! <laughs> everybody all right? <laughs> He's Sat already down in the there. Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> Threw the cane down. Yeah, so what's popping? Then he tell her, yo, you nigga. ain't recording me or nothing, is you? Mm -hmm. I bust your ass in this shit. Yo, the only thing is, I feel like evil people nigga, felt like... He was <laughs> living crazy, my He's nigga. He's evil People nigga, felt like man. their life was a lie. That's the only thing, I guess. Uh, nah, like, nah, nah, nah. Shorty yeah. just hadn't had nothing else to do. Yeah. She ain't had nothing to do, my nigga. She was the only one that was that in, yeah. involved. Even the moms, because they should feel violated, if anybody. 110%. The mothers, Plus, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And they Plus. wasn't even... They, there was no crying. No, nothing. Like, yeah. not saying that I'm not victim shaming or whatever y'all trying to say. I'm just giving you my opinion on it. You think any of the mothers at some point was looking at the kid like, yo, you kind of look like Dr. Yes. So-and-so. That woman, the one that, she, when she shows the picture, remember? She, she looked, the yeah, looks, it looks, got all his, his his features, yeah. My nigga, it's like they just it's took unmistakable. the face off and put it as a baby. It's oh, unmistakable. You don't feel like the mother maybe had an idea? The one at the end is crying, yeah. he is not my father. <laughs> she looked the most like about yeah. anybody. <laughs> what you mean, he is I not felt, my I father? I felt terrible for her, but I'm like, come on, I, man. I, yeah, word, because she was terrible. You can see the pain, she was ugly as shit. To it, I was like, wow, B. It felt like right? some of the mothers yeah, knew yeah. and they just didn't want to make waves yes, and just yes, let it rock. Yes, yes. It was pretty obvious yeah. pretty early. Is it mm -hmm. wild that I feel she found like, six she found six siblings the first day? God damn. I feel the most me? sympathy or like for the, the dads. Yes. You know I mean? Absolutely. No. Yeah. That's why I said yeah, one of them know? supposed to. They the probably got a case. Got, Do that nigga like for child support. Life, now you can't have no more kids. And my nigga, like, and you did everything not, for this kid. Yeah, at least and, the mom that's And I'll be tight that you even want to go look for who else. Nigga, I did all that. Yeah. What you mean? And they did. They were very smart, and I liked that they had the respect to hold it down. Some of them had the respect. They didn't want to make it hot. I don't want my dad to find out about this shit. Yeah. And they yeah. wouldn't call that nigga my dad or my father. They would say my, my um, donor or something like that. Nah, they didn't say donor. They said the person I shared a familial DNA with or some shit. Like mm -hmm. they was very, you know what I'm saying? They was or very careful. Paternal the DNA or something like that. Yeah they, yeah. they was very careful of the wording. They didn't ever say just my donor or yeah. you know what I mean. But they never called that nigga Pop Dukes or like father or anything know. like that. It was right. I just like that because they had some respect for their dad. Yeah, because that's still their father. Yeah, <laughs> Whoever man. raised you is your that father. That nigga was there the whole time. That yeah. shit got to feel crazy. Man, son didn't break down. Remember the nigga that was sitting with his wife mm -hmm. the whole time? Oh, he yeah. Was just, that was Shorty. That was the one that had the granddaughter. That was her? Yeah. Oh, you ain't watched to the end? No, I did. Oh. I, that was her. That was her? So the, the woman that was like, she was on him from the yeah. beginning. She was like... She was sitting next to her husband, and the husband worked with him. And she was like, yo, this nigga is this, that. And then she was kind of wilding. And son wasn't flipping. He was kind of like, yeah, you know. Yo, and imagine, imagine this kid is going to grow up That's with your up. mom is your sister, fam. 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 This nigga's a fucking That's demon. my big sister, the big homie. <laughs> <laughs> That shit like, is that's wild. Wait, you know yeah. how you know it's how people mom. be joking. I that. You know that's how people big big home. That's damn yeah. sure when that's people that's joke mom. around mom. and they'll say to you because they say to my kids' mom all the time, "Oh, is that your sister?" Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, yes it is. It is. It's your mom. True. And my dad is my granddad. Two things. Dad is my granddad. My dad is my grandpa. Two things are absolutely granddad true dad. at the dad, same dad. time. <laughs> my dad is my granddad, but it's not my dad. Yeah. Damn, man. That's a lot. That nigga's evil, man. That kid. They need Somebody to start saving for therapy right now. Yeah. yeah. Nah, but, and she, you know what's crazy? 
she was the most regular out of everybody. And she went to this nigga four separate times. My son shot four joints in there. Mm -hmm. Her brain might have just short-circuited, man. Nah, she's very normal. Very normal. The only one I thought was like a physical issue, and which this is what I wasn't I wasn't even mad at her until she said, it like sucks, but he like created his own world of perfectness. Like he just blonde hair and blue eyes, just oh, yeah. perfect. It wasn't clan. even that, but yes, she was saying it was like no, this that was very Nazi. Racist. That's very exactly racist. what she said. She was racist. trying to say it's a Nazi thing. She said it was a clan of of um, hold on, hold on, perfect. Um, blue eyed blonde. Aryan. Oh. Aryan. Aryan. That's what the word. Oh. No, but the word before Aryan wasn't a wasn't a, a bland word. It was a word describing excellence. Like, yeah, which is a problem for me. Cause ain't nothing ex. You look absolutely nuts. Crazy. She looked crazy. Like Clarissa explains it all to some other shit. <laughs> this shit translates nothing ex- directly to I white power. power. Yes. Yeah. She looks terrible. Six was actually I right, though on yeah. Blossom. Niggas would have cracked six. Yeah. Ain't six dead? She died, right? Nah. nah. She had some cheeks. Six a was bit back six then. was shorty from um, Blossom. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Not Nikki's the um, the white bitch. Nah. Not Nikki's friend. The fat one's friend. I gotta see that shit. That was Six's best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the fat one's not, not Nikki, the fat friend. All right, so Nikki Parker, right? Yeah. Nikki Andell. Da- no, was it was Nikki's Andell's friend. daughter. It was Andell's daughter. Or well, not Andell's daughter. What's what's um Kim's friend? Kim's was, friend. Yeah, Kim's friend. What's Kim's friend name? Countess Vaughn? No, yeah. not the friend. Nah. The white chick, she's right there. Right there, there she goes. The oh, Jennifer Noy. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer Noy. Nah, Jennifer she's, Noy. She's still she's alive? alive? Oh, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah. My fault. I thought Six checked out. I think the the Chick that played Andell died. Yeah. Oh, Yvette Wilson? Yeah. What's son name right there? The third nigga? By Eve right there? <laughs> Tyrell Thaddeus or Ken Lawson is his government. That's that nigga right there. My nigga. He like By Eve and Brad. <laughs> and a fusion. <laughs> and a fusion, right? Brad Eve. 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 <laughs> nigga look like Brad Eve. Niggas. Brad Eve is a real, that's a thug Brad ass name though. Crazy. This nigga's going to jail. <laughs> trick Biatch is, yeah, Trick Biatch on your, on hey, your hey, food. Hey, hybrids with you. Yo, Trick Biatch. That's how we entered the, 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 what was it, Squeeze? Oh, yeah, yeah. wait, Squeeze? Ooh, that's nasty. That was dumb. Yo, I niggas bro. wrote, wrote <laughs> Trick Biatch on your fucking Uber Eats. <laughs> trick Biatch! <laughs> <laughs> what is you smoking? Now nah, that's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now, prayers up for Canelo, too. You know what I mean? That was some whack shit. I mean... You gonna pray for him? Yeah, yeah like what? Because that shit hurt his feelings, man. <laughs> He's so, lost before? To the best nigga ever in life. He lost before that, too, I think. No. That was nah. his first loss? Crazy. That's his second loss. Hell no. He had a draw or something like that. Nah, before. nigga. Yeah, like Triple G. Like 60 and. Oh, yeah, he nah. did have a draw. Triple yeah, yeah. G, I think, with this Triple wasn't, G. Was like, this was. Like, I mean, from what I saw, like, I just felt like the nigga was just better boxer that day. Are you fucking high? No. You felt like Bivol was a better boxer? That's crazy. He nah. got two I mean, but general. that's your opinion. That's not, your opinion. Not he got two in draws, general. too. Yeah, hey, Gennady. Not he, in general. Yeah, I'm saying that, that, night, that night, I felt so, like he so got out. Who's the second draw to? The, I mean, the first draw to. It was early in his career. He had yeah, hold on. What does it say? Who is it? I'm telling you now. I'm pulling it up as well. 61 total yeah. fights, two losses. Um, two draws. I'm pretty sure one would be the Triple G. Jorge, one is, one Jorge, is the, that's Jorge, the second draw. Uh, Canelo Morris. lost to Canelo lost to Mayweather. Fifth fight. Yeah, That's his nigga. first yeah. loss. This was his second loss. Yeah, if you go if you go down to Dimitri Bivol was uh, his record. Loss. You gotta scroll down more. Down. Yep, 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 yep. Keep going. The nigga just boxed an amazing. It was and a it brilliant says, like, fight. It says professional boxing yeah. record, and you'll see it. Perfect you know, fight. His own tab. You gotta there give you go. him his credit, and so that shit was keep amazing. Going. What yeah. he did. It's the fifth fight. Was his draw. Man, this man. He was still in Mexico though. Back then. Jorge. Yeah, he was like uh, Juarez. Juarez. Yeah. Jorge Juarez. <laughs> he was 14. Was, yeah, he was oh mad young. It's not even back in Mexico, he had to draw his fifth fight. Yeah. yeah. And That's Guadalajara what and all that. My yeah. nigga, it don't really matter. Lost to Floyd, draw That's with uh, Triple G, and then recently that lost where, to Bill. Where your pool was at? Nah, Canelo oh. was there. <laughs> My pool was in, in, um, pool was in uh, Cancun. Yeah. Quentin Roo, I mean, I didn't necessarily feel like the nigga was quicker than him. I just... Felt like he just boxed a better fight. And I'm not going to say he's a better boxer that's generally. What you said. He, yeah. That's what no, you said. I didn't, I'm not saying he's a better boxer generally. I'm just saying he. I felt like he had a better night. It was night. a brilliant performance. Him. It was amazing. And what he yeah. did was exactly what he was supposed to do. He never got frustrated. He just sat there and waited. Yeah. He never rushed the pace, never pushed the pace. 
and he st- and it was his guard was so fucking tight, yeah. nothing ever hit his face ever. If you peek, he didn't touch him. He had nothing touched his face, yeah. and he let him punch himself out. You yeah. seen his arms was all weary and shit. The nigga couldn't hold the belt. The nigga had to get a belt back. He couldn't mm-hmm. hold a belt in the press conference. Yeah. The nigga's like much older, so I feel like just in Who? that in that case, who's much older? No, the ball is not. Nah, he's not. He's much not older. older than him. He's just no. saying. Nah, shit. I didn't know he's how only old twenty and no, by the way. He just looked older than. Wow. He's Russian, my nigga. Yeah, they they oh, live a so rough life. Oh, I, he must nah, have looked a rough life. Nah, I was yeah. looking at the nigga dead ass like, oh, this nigga. He's, he's thirty one. Like, I thought the nigga was. Yo, how old is Canelo? Thirty one. Hell no, Canelo like thirty five. With somebody watching the pod, and they were like, "Yo, Red just be saying shit." Yeah. And that how much is he thirty one? I didn't know how old he was. But you said no, he's much older. Go down a little tell you. Like, oh. I thought the nigga looked older. older. I saw the struggle in his face, my bad. 31. <laughs> so they're both 31. Yeah. They're both 31. It's just funny yeah. that you said he's much older. I thought, if you like, see, if you, yeah. too, that's if you see, fact. if you see them two niggas stand next to each other, the nigga looks older. Like, he said it like, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, you said it like yeah. it was a fact, like yeah. you did this. So he's like, oh no, so, I thought you nah, I'd be wrong like a motherfucker too, though. Fuck it. I'd be wrong so, like a motherfucker. But I was defending Reg. Yeah. Like, I'm like, nah, you know what you're talking about. I, I think his weight, that weight played a part, wrong. though. Nobody's yeah. perfect. Yeah, I, yeah, I, right. I, I truly believe he was tired, it's my nigga. Like, I was Canelo wasn't expecting the nigga to just be able to oh, deal shit. with the power How that many well. people are but 100% that's, that's correct size, that correct that weight yeah. difference is why yeah. I think he was easily just received, taking yeah. Canelo's punches. He wasn't hurt at all. And not only that. At all. I think he was just too... He went up. He shouldn't have went up. Yeah. He shouldn't have went up. He's 6'2". Yeah, he's three, just a big guy. Three, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He did what he was supposed to do to Canelo. Exactly. Canelo wasn't allowed to bully him like he bullied everybody else. But to go back to that did stupid shit he, he was saying about Usyk. Canelo back? Yeah. 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 To go back to that stupid shit. Go back to that stupid shit that you said about Usyk. <laughs> you got it, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, Canelo got better got just got calm it. down, bro. He's a victim of his own success. I was wildin'. Yeah. You picked homie up, though? Yeah. I was wild. Flex on him just... I was wild. Usyk, it would have been bad in there. However, I still got faith in Canelo, my nigga. I like the nigga. So does he rematch Bivol? It just it's not gonna no, make any no, difference. No, no, no. What the fuck would the be point? Like to just get another one? I, I think the same. So just quiet for that. It's quiet. I think okay. he's a victim of his own success. Yeah. Like the I mean, wins gave him so much confidence the nigga and felt the, like And it's not just the wins, it's the yeah. dominance. Yeah. Total dominance. Yeah. Yeah, we've never seen it. I mean when it. he's losing a round, it's because yeah. he's studying. I, yeah. I know you're kidding. It's never friend. looked like that before. So never. it's not you know what I mean? Never. This nigga from oh, round true. one, second one. Got his ass whipped in there. I know I know you're a big Canelo fan, but if you look, he had a lot of trouble with Laura. Yeah. Laura gave him a lot of trouble. I like Laura. There's another, yeah. another Laura's bigger guy. No, nah, like Laura. Laura's not even really bigger. Yeah. Laura's, uh, yeah, he's, he's kind of he skinny. Yeah, he's, he's left-handed. He's Cuban active. Boxer. Active yeah. nigga, though. And he's mad calculated. Like, I was like... Uh, Laura was gave him a little bit of trouble. In spots, you saw Trout gave him some trouble. Mm. It was the open scoring that ruined that fight. Did the mm-hmm. niggas uh, ever confirm whether or not like that that like cross fight was gonna happen Austin with Trout. Um Angano was gonna happen? It was in Texas, huh? I wasn't paying attention. Was that Angano fight really confirmed? Was it actually you happening? Remember that fight? Austin Trout? Wait, yeah, no. he, and then he break Trout's face, if nah. I'm not mistaken. That wasn't the guy he's fractured his orbital bone. Nah, he didn't fracture that's, that's um that was recent. Yeah. When he broke some face up. That was Austin just recent. Austin Trout might have been like twenty 20- 14, maybe, 2015, somewhere around there. Also, that was um, either Smith, go up. It was either Smith or... or oh, um, Callum. I think Callum is the one he broke Callum his face. Smith. Yeah, Callum Smith. Yeah. Um, Trout was uh, back in 2013. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember that fight. I don't either. It went 12. It was a decision. Yeah, Trout was undefeated. He had just, <coughs> he had just finished beating, like, uh, Cotto. Okay. Mm. At time in the garden and stuff like that. I like Cotto, man. He was cool. This is a random question. Tough guy. Cotto was... He was different day. He was cool. Yeah. Oh, what? Right, I didn't bro. know that. For real? Wickedness. What? Nah, 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 nah. My nah. son is mad, too. Nah. Don't do that. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, let's talk about it. Nah. When the camera's on, I yeah, nah. nah. this. I don't give a fuck. When I don't even want to know. On, I don't want to hear that. Nah, I don't know. I, don't I have a cousin. I have a cousin nah, that nah, be tight hit, hit. because nah. he always picked him during fight night. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was his nigga. Damn, That's man. one of the toughest you know niggas, man. How yeah. A certain type is yeah. more prone to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's Bro, one of the toughest niggas. Prone to niggas. violence. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's so, that's Tyson. Nah. Extreme did, violence. Did niggas confirm the Tyson Fury and Ganu fight or Hell no? Nah. Nah. That's not happening? They better not do that. That was just talk. Brad, you had a question? Punch the hair off his head. So, obviously, they fighting with gloves on. To break somebody's face, you think. That's just from repeated hits. That nah, it's just the pressure. It's just the yeah. power. That yeah, 
Just yeah, the force. I can't. You that, can flick a nigga in the, in the orbital ball and break it. This shit is mad yeah. thin. If you put your finger inside your eye socket, it's mad I'm just thin. Thinking, as a boxer, you yeah. repeatedly get in hit. And then you have yeah. to consider yeah. like, like after a while, like a just crack like, is there like, already. Yeah. Like, it's just <laughs> yeah. slowly getting. I don't think it's that. I just think it's the force, my nigga. I, honestly, I, I feel like it's right happen too. If you get punched in the same spot like over and over, like over and over, like it's like it's chipping away. It's chipping away. Because like remember when McGregor's leg broke? They said like there was like micro fractures just over time. I believe that. I believe that. I think. I think both. But can that's happen. over a big enough area. Yeah. This little ass area, my nigga, all it takes is a flick. You could break this easily. I think I think it can break easily. I think yeah. it could be a few points, like depending on yeah. the power. Of course. Uh, but I also think it depends on the, the angle you get hit, the speed, yeah. the force. Okay. You know what I mean? You could be turned away from a punch and go right into so, it. So, like, crack yeah. your shit. so Brad, if you go the glove if you go look it up, Brad, he actually hit him with a really clean uppercut. Yeah, it was crazy. It, it just was a crazy punch that he landed perfectly. And, and nigga, that was the motion. Wait, when like he, took, his, he was going into it? Yeah, like right into the punch. He went right into the punch. Oh, it looked like he headbutted the nigga glove. Yeah. And what's crazy is how he ate it. Like, yo, he just... Not even fall, not even no emotion. There's yeah, no yeah. way you would know that it. that was the punch. That, that, that broke. That broke. It, was like, it was a like, vicious punch, though. It was crazy, yeah, but it was, it was like, that's punch. just how Canelo punched. Yeah. You feel me? Nobody, Nobody knew that his face was broken. And the nigga yeah. shit just started going crazy. Every couple of seconds, it was Swelling. Worse. Started Purplish. really swelling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and mind you, fell out. And mind you, in, in basketball, and B, and B broke his orbital. Like nigga, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it could just be one thing. And B broke his orbital bone a couple games but, ago. But yeah, that's no glove. And remember right, when Timbo knocked the nigga eye out? Yeah. I oh my him. gosh. That was. It came out. Who's the one boxer you would not take a punch from? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. In the face. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mm. Between like, him, and, like, him and Tyson Fury. Besides Mike Prime. Tyson. Prime. Prime. Tyson, Mike Tyson. Tyson. Tyson Fury. Nah, 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 I said Deontay I, Wilder now. Yeah. Yeah. Deontay Wilder now or 90s Mike Tyson? No. Nope. Deontay Wilder, he got mad yeah. pressure built up. <laughs> yeah. with whoever won a front, strong, son. You know, Deontay Wilder hits people so hard, he breaks his hand. Almost yeah. at every yeah. after every fight, he gets surgery. Most of them niggas do. A lot of, yeah. A Floyd lot was of breaking a lot of his hand a lot. His Tank breaks his hands a lot. Mm. But, niggas, you gotta think about it, son. And they fight through that, so That's a tough nigga, man. That's tough, man. yeah. Oh, yeah. The hardest punch in the world, though, they have a machine that measures what? punching power. Ngano, wasn't it? Ngano is the hardest punch yeah, in the world. Yeah. I, I bet it different, my nigga. I, I punched a nigga one time. And, <laughs> 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 and, the nigga, and the nigga was, he had um sickle cell. God damn. And I ain't know this prior. <laughs> Hold on. I ain't, matter, matter of fact, go ahead, man. I ain't going to talk about it. <laughs> I ain't know that, though, my nigga. I ain't know that. <sighs> but now nah, we going to. Fuck it, we talking about something now. <laughs> how? How? How do I tra- how do we transition after that one? No, That's a crazy. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace. The nigga punched the nigga with sickle I didn't know. First of all, I, I was too young to know what that was at the time. And then but you, you, you can't look and see it. also a regular You can't see that. That's what I'm saying. You he's can't look person. and see it. Exactly. And he's fronting. What am I supposed to do? Fight him. And if you ask him how hard Deontay Wilder hit, you know what I'm saying? He's probably going to be like, yo, this one nigga, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I just didn't know. But long story short, yeah. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, man. Yeah. We didn't get to say that last episode because the Word. news had not been confirmed yet. Oh. Uh, the trash part about the whole Kevin is how people are reacting afterwards. It's terrible. Niggas mm-hmm. don't respect It's that. disgusting. Yeah, and it, it's, it's like... It's both sides, too. Like It's crazy. Yeah, and it's, it's like disgusting. that's a, that's still the, whatever you say whether you agreed or you didn't agree. That was still a human, still. Yeah, a and black his family man has to read that. it. You know what I mean? His family has to read all this. What well, they don't have. His to mother know, found that shit out. Found on out social media. on social media. It's that's that why. Dumb. That's what I'm saying. We lost contact with like we lost touch humanity. with reality and yeah. humanity, man, with the internet. So when you ask dead. that, I I totally disregard what I said, my nigga, about the social media. Bad nigga. It is a lot of positives, but it's so much worse. So, yeah, so, so much, much more negative, negative that comes with that. that word, my nigga. Dog, the nigga... Because <clears throat> it does exist already. That's right. You're right. The, nigga, the nigga's dead. When he was alive, you ain't said shit to him. You you felt how you felt. You voiced whatever displeasure. You could have called into his fucking shows, mm. told the nigga whatever. Nigga's going out. Like, he can't hear what you're saying. Mm. Right? The only thing that's left is his family. You're not stupid. You know this. You know whatever displeasure you feel with the nigga and nine times out of ten i might be wrong i feel like when people like have a visceral reaction to something it's because they took it personal like you like he pressed the button <coughs> and you felt away like he said something about high value men and you you didn't fit in the description so you got tight or you was uh, a older mother and you had a couple of kids like he was talking and as he was talking you look back at your two kids and you was tight you felt away you're single two kids he said some shit and you felt a way about it. I don't agree with a lot of what he said, 
and he he said some wild shit, definitely. But a lot of people that are criticizing him also say crazy shit. The nigga's in the public space. He has a show. It's not like he's going to be a, a right 100% of the time. That's his opinion. People tune in to hear that shit. If you don't like it, turn it off. Yeah, I be wrong all the time. But he, did, he did the joint call, and he said, oh, so you're a running back. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Man, that was but you're calling this nigga, knowing that what he talk about, and you asking for his opinion. My nigga, you asking advice from this nigga, knowing how he go. And then when the nigga called, he said, yeah, how, how tall are you? He said, 5'8". He said, how much you weigh? And the nigga says, uh, right now. He said, oh, I right, said, so two what? <laughs> <laughs> the nigga says, He's two funny. whatever. He said, oh, okay, okay, so you're a fat fucker. That's his, that's his brand. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so you're a fat fucker. <laughs> that's mad funny. Dog, hey, you, funny. Watch, you watch this nigga. You're a single mother who's over 40 with two kids. Yeah, man. You watched him say the same shit to another single mother with but two kids. What need... the fuck did you think he was going to say yeah, to do you? do you even need to call up? Yeah. And, what the and fuck to be you honest, though, you? The thing is, at, after 30, whatever, I mean, I don't give a fuck what age you are. What too many kids, the dating pool slows up. It, sm- right. it shrinks. Bro, the Too niggas- many kids that shrinks the dating pool. Nobody wants to raise other niggas' kids. Yeah. It's just the truth. So The nigga, there's, it also there's makes- exceptions, but yeah. a lot of what he said was factual from the perspective yeah. of, dog, these, we're not just talking about women who are looking for a mate. These women have possible suitors, but they're like, nah, I feel like they're I'm They're trying I'm too- to ascertain the attention yeah. of a nigga that they, that's it's beyond belief. I feel like I'm it's too good truth. for this nigga. It's the truth, my I nigga. mean, you... It's the it, truth. Everybody is special, but your market value might not be what you thought of this. And dog, I'm not tall. That's a fact. Yeah. So I can't be <laughs> mad at that shit, dog. You're a high-value man, dog. dog. Tell him. Dog. Tell him, bro. Right? I'm like, <laughs> I'm not... That's like if somebody... You that same height when say, you lay I'm down, my nigga. We're 110 percent. When they lay down, the same height, my nigga. What I'm gonna say is, <laughs> truth is not mean. Truth is unbiased. Truth is just truth. It's just truth. I, facts just... are just facts. You don't have to like it. Just because it offends you doesn't mean it's mean or whatever. Or like, when did niggas disconnect with like factual shit? I'll do you one better because a lot of what he said probably wasn't facts. A lot of it's opinion and stuff like that, but. By no means did Kevin Samuels go to your phone, and your tra- computer, anything How about like, you? Yo, you, you got to watch this. Nobody did that. Same thing with us. Right. If you're offended by anything we say, Kevin Samuels say, Dave Chappelle, anybody, it's... Turn it off. Turn it off. Nobody and, forced you to watch any of this. You're seeking that out. You're seeking out to be offended. And yeah. then not even that. To the point that I, when, when a nigga die, you need to feel, you feel so, like you need to just they were wishing, They were wishing death on people who support him, too. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, come so on. My thing is, my thing is this, because I'm going to shift the focus a bit. No niggas was, no not, niggas was hurt. If you feel that strongly about it, where a nigga that agrees with him also has to die, he needs to die. Dog, you were hurt. Yeah, so I'm gonna shift. Just say shift, he hurt your feelings. I'm gonna shift some of the attention off of what he was saying because I, I feel you like disagree with him. regardless of what he's saying. Let me say him. what I'm he gonna said. say. <laughs> I'm gonna shift some of the attention off of what he was saying because I feel like we're constantly or, or everybody the, the talk is about his opinion. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's dead. my attention is to all of these people who have something to say. Who raised you? I was raised not to speak ill of the dead. I don't care what he said. Yeah. You just don't. You don't. You don't, res- it, you don't respect don't, death. You don't do that. You don't respect humanity. You don't respect his family. Condolences to his mother who had to find out, unfortunately, fact. on social media. I don't. I don't even want to talk about himself. what he said to people. And Bruh. you don't know that. I want to know who raised you. Because I just was taught to sp- not to speak ill to death. I was. I was raised that, different. My nigga, it's just that they don't respect death now. It's like a don't respect it's like, anything. It's like a funny thing. Yeah. Just, These just, niggas, say, yo, dead serious. Niggas said, "Did you hear the nine one one call, bro?" Like, what? that's crazy. The They're talking about the circumstances of his death. I don't even. Saying? I don't need to hear that. I how he heard. died. I don't care. The internet like, disconnected. Nigga, who raised you? you humanity, so. Richard Kuklinski, nigga. I don't yeah. give a fuck if you kill thirty people. Yeah. That's not a good topic, my nigga. I don't want to hear about. Shouldn't you. be making light of it. Shouldn't yeah. be celebrating anybody's what death. And, and besides, he didn't do anything egregious to anybody. He didn't commit nah. any crimes. I, like I said, it's not about Kevin Samuels to me. It's about these. These people who just lack humanity right oh, now. The and the fucking, internet gives you a platform. It's the, sad, fucking, my nigga. it's the fucking internet. Mm-hmm. If they were at the funeral, they would never say that shit to his mother's face. Of course not. I would hope Niggas not. just feel empowered by the internet. And, and I can't even say that fuck. now, though. I can't. Even. I was about to say, I don't even know. Nah, because people will. Nah. Yeah, these I'm motherfuckers. A, no, some people this. would. Majority people of people talking shit won't do that shit. He's recording it. Yeah. It's a crazy time we live in. And that's why I'm not even expressing my opinion of what he said. It ain't about that. The nigga's dead. He can't do nothing to you. Way beyond that. Rest in peace to him. 
If a nigga walk to a funeral surrounded by a nigga's family and friends and pissed on it, then maybe you have an argument. If it's an empty graveyard, dog, who's stopping you? Yeah. No, but it's still like, recording. It's mad disrespectful. It's but where are niggas gonna find you? But that's just a way to make waves on the internet yeah. now. Just for attention. Yeah, it's corny. corny it's dog. disgusting. It's very corny. Very. And speaking of that, like, and I mean, I know you prefer to do the same. Dig your partner up, nigga. Yeah. That shit is wild as shit. I, I felt it, the same way when niggas was celebrating I don't that shit. the whole Young Thug shit yeah. and the Gunner shit. Like, yeah, niggas are celebrating Dale niggas getting locked shit. up. Mm. Dale Hughes, basically, he wrote on his caption, he was like, What do you expect when your name is Thug and Gunner? Gun jail is probably going to happen. Mm. And I was like, that yeah, that's some cool. trash shit for yeah. Dio Hughley, of all people who have changed. I know, because he's to usually say, worried. Yeah, he's usually trash. down for us. That's what that's To do that. And even if you feel that way inside, that's not something you have to... I don't think you need to share. Do you think he was yeah. trying to be funny? I mean, I get it. It's not funny, joke. though. It's coming yeah. from a comedian. But, it was a bad joke. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't... I ain't about to shit on this nigga because son be really rocking with us. However, yeah, my that's nigga, that like wasn't needed. That wasn't corny. needed. I don't like it joke. because once you say it, you justify all the niggas on Fox well, News that use that same argument. That way. It's a bad name. It's bad. Nah, but you don't nah, say nah. that. The shit is, you don't the shit is entertainment. And you this shit is it. entertainment, though. Y'all let it cool off. Yeah, my nigga. And these niggas might really not be coming back. Yeah, you got to let that, that cool off crash, my dog. The shit Corny. is entertainment. I don't even want to talk about that. You're shit. talking about a, a means of this is how these niggas feed all of these people. Like, if they were just doing good shit, nobody would ever fucking discuss that shit. You got to change your number and all that because a nigga could just call you and you go. Yep. Yep. Racketeering is yeah. easy. It's easy as shit to say you involved Word. in some bullshit. You could catch a conspiracy charge definitely for answering the phone. But, like, my thing is us celebrating niggas in a cage Who is doing is that? obscene. So ain't no Mad us. niggas online. Don't say us, my nigga, because we ain't do that. I ain't Look. never celebrate anybody being in no, no cage in not, my life. No, not anyone in here. People on the internet are celebrating We is shit. not them. Let me, let no, me ask y'all a question. Us, nigga. It's bad funny. You fucking up the pronouns, my man. No. Cause you view I don't mean as... anyone in the in this room saying that. What I'm saying is it bothered me because <clears throat> niggas pulled up. You it's black people that's doing it. You're, yeah. First of all, you and tell me if I'm bugging. You bugging. Act it's, it Most might likely. be. You you've been following this case for years. You're talking about all these murders. If you've been following niggas, at some point you've been privy to the fact that niggas might get killed and you never intervened. Yeah. Am I bugging? You're right. No, they let it so, happen to So to at some point, to some degree, you're an accessory because you knew shit yes. was going to happen. You're law enforcement. My nigga, and you let this shit happen so you could you act build like this that's case. that's something new. Niggas been that. That shit is insane. That's police work. Then, that's po then yeah, you, they let it happen so they can cement so they, the case. You probably wouldn't give as much of a fuck. can't cement it without it happening. If without niggas the wasn't famous. And then to pull up to a nigga's crib and like, dog, you've been following around. You know where he's at at all times. Hmm. You could have arrested him somewhere else. The nigga got kicked. Like, niggas don't give a fuck about family or none of that other shit. Um, Unless you're white. It, you said something, right? You said people on the internet, right? Yeah. And it's funny because I realized I don't view it that way at all. I just view it as the internet. Like, I don't uh, attribute it to, like, actual people. People. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's just well, the internet. Like, I don't see them as real people because if I don't have that... No, these are human beings celebrating the downfall of other human beings. <laughs> and it's because they feel like, yeah, they got what the, was coming to them because... They don't like anyone successful. Like the no. downfall <laughs> you know of crazy? successful people. I don't even think it's that makes people, bruh. They it's everybody the loves you. Like niggas are cheering for us because we're on our way up. As yeah. soon as you arrive to wherever you're going, niggas hate your guts, though. No, but That's, there's I, some truth. I, no, to that. you're right. But what I think it is, it's more like everybody's talking about this. I gotta say something to make me stand out so people That's see true. me. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yep. It, it's like I, I don't it. even want yeah. to. Like they may not be like, damn. Swag for them dudes, but I gotta try to be funny. I gotta try to stand out in these and comments. Get the most likes and from my comments. Like, yeah. like I just need to yes. do something this so I get attention. I You're right. Because I of but then what? Whatever then what do you agenda, do with the attention? What happens then? Some of them might have, it might if, be like, if you might think like be that, an influencer. They might word. be trying to sell something. They might. You're be a nothing. To, if you think yeah, like right. that, you're a nothing, I and you have it. nothing to let me, contribute that's to. That's not true. Right? You're let nothing, me, dog. Let me ask you this: I'm not gonna dive into it. It's one thing if you're if you have a show and you're contributing opinion, whatever. If a nigga just wants to put a comment just for likes and like. So and that just, quick endorphin hit. Everybody's that's, that's a somebody, loser. man. But y'all should be doing that. To somebody, yeah. I don't want to dive into their court case, none of their charges, and none of yeah, that. I do want to. Yeah, I do want to ask this though, Word. and it and it does kind of play. It, it ties into what DL was saying. I, I'm a strong believer in manifestation, and that's what that. you're saying yeah. is powering your words. And so I do see in hip hop a lot of times these guys talk about certain things. Um, it always bothers me that big names his albums ready to die. 
yeah. life after death. Life after death. Crazy. And then he died very he young. Shit into his Why it always Why bothered me that Tupac, some of the some of the uh, album names, the, the titles, some of the themes he talked about, and so these guys named themselves Thug and Gunna, and and and, and names themselves after drugs and different things. Do y'all believe that that plays a part in in, in some of this? The, the, the manifestation. I don't, I don't like it so. when people okay. say that shit. Is you will niggas will be quick to say like, well, you named yourself after it. Niggas will never address the fact that they grew up in these communities and how they ended up there. Mm. Dog, mm -hmm. niggas talk about what they know. Mm -hmm. If yeah. niggas around you are drug dealers and they all getting money, and the college r rate is X and the dropout rate in high school is X, how the fuck do you think this nigga's gonna end up? Niggas gonna be a thug. So what, what the fuck do you want him to rap about? If you want him to rap about something different, change the circumstances. What the fuck is he going to talk about? The suburbs? Nigga, he ain't never been there. You don't know nothing about part it. Of it. Yeah. Part of it is reality, and I do also agree that it's manifestation, right? Because yeah. you can probably find some people that grew up in a neighborhood that didn't turn out that way. Of it course. is what it is, right? Of course. Um, but, like, it's manifest... Like, like he said, they don't know anything else, mm -hmm. but it, I do 110 percent believe it's manifestation if he named himself young college graduate <laughs> it'd be different for him probably. a little bit different yeah. Yeah. right I but so. i don't think it's our right to come out and yeah. say that mm. no you know I what I mean? himself young college graduate he'd actually be out here being a young thug because he would not get a deal we don't know that dog know. come on man <laughs> what's selling right now kanye west your favorite guy is college dropout Fun. graduation and how many niggas how many niggas Put in that place uniform. how many yeah. niggas in that place do well because Talib Kweli is, nah, you was, is you was doing on media now. Then you fucked it up. How? I don't think the, I don't think the name. Talib Kweli is a successful black man. <clears throat> Talib Kweli does well. What I'm saying does is very well. That mad music, back, back, Common back. does very well for Word, himself. They are mad, mad, mad backpack back rappers, yeah, and they so always end up doing something. Drake else. does amazing. The biggest rapper in the world. Drake, yeah, Drake like, isn't a backpack rapper, dog. Drake's biggest saying, draw is that he I, never sell, I, he's never wrote. J. Himself Cole is a college graduate. Drake never wrote himself into a into a predicament where he had to be a thug. Yeah, he's he wrote, never that. He doesn't he try to be that. It, he made himself tailor-made for everybody's palate, Paul. Uh, uh, and that's 100%. why he's doing so great. And he is so the exception. Yeah. No, Nine times not. out of Nigga, ten. Nigga, we just said 13 no, all the, to the top three rappers, we talking about Drake, Kendrick Cole, Lamar, and Kendrick. What are you talking about? Drake, Cole, Kendrick are the top three rappers. J. Cole I, is a college I graduate. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> Drake what you're gangsta, saying. Kendrick ain't gangsta. I understand what you're saying 100%. Yeah, but the music funny? that's being consumed. I understand what you're saying. People ain't and saying don't anything. Understand. They ain't even saying nothing yet. Yeah, he's like, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Niggas overstated what they're saying. But what I'm saying, at large, these companies market, market, what they're talking like? Are these that's just, <laughs> who are these niggas? <laughs> who are these niggas? <laughs> now, when the right. nigga when so, the nigga said that to Charlamagne, the nigga um Tommy Davidson, who are these are niggas? These niggas? Yeah. <laughs> who, who are, are these niggas? These niggas? <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, funny. they funny, package man. and market specific rappers at large. The rappers that talk about a certain thing do better. Um, I, I don't. I wouldn't agree with that. I think I your top three rappers you are Drake, though, Rez. I was Drake, J Cole. Yeah. But you look at a big Sean, who's a huge seller, Wale, Kanye's one of the biggest. He's a billionaire. Niggas talk Word. all positivity. Word. No, Kanye's girls. not a gangster. Never Word. has been. No Love gun him. busting, no drugs. J. Cole's not a gangster. So Kendrick's not a gangster. About Drake's is a not a superstar, gangster. and there are different, there are different circumstances. Kendrick, Kendrick was a stick up kid. Yeah. Was. Was. What does he yeah. rap about? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he rap Listen to his new album. Bruh, yeah, what does he rap about? Talk about therapy after album. Come on, my nigga. Come on, son. This is one of the great rappers. Kendrick is a monster, and he's a superstar. I, the, I, another reason I don't agree with what he's saying is most of the rappers that excel at rap don't excel with the money. These niggas are... Yeah. Right? You look they're at a kid so fab. And they can rap wild good yeah. and they're stuck in their situation. Yeah. Right? Most of the really, really like good lyricists aren't the popular guys. Eminem's not a gangster. He's one of the biggest but, selling rappers uh, I ain't ever. even talking about the high, the yeah, high quality niggas. Jack Harlow just dropped. He's not a gangster. But in... <laughs> you know what I mean? But... Come on, he's unfortunately what? Ransom, so, who's one of the best rappers out there. He can't sell. He, 110. percent Can't get placement in. A lot of the rappers you're rap referencing. Better than all them niggas you talk. A lot of the, the artists you're referencing are that. from a specific era, right now, right? So who you said in that in that raps better than him? Pusha T. No, but you said those niggas. Pusha T is all Hold about up. Cole. Cole Kendrick can out rap. Ransom. Oh, man. Cole son. and Kendrick can't out rap Ran. This is crazy. I, and I, I fuck with Ran. You be making me... I, I be feeling bad. I was the, like Ran, the Ran uh, conversation and debates because I haven't listened to him. You got to listen to this. But thing. I find it hard for people to be able to rap, out rap Cole and Kendrick. Mm. They don't. What's up, man? Like, Cole he is... They don't. Elite. They don't. This nigga's crazy. I, th I think Cole out raps Kendrick. Man. I think Kendrick talks about 
more like he's a little more, more substantive probably yeah. more substance but yeah cole what? is are you brand is amazing are you not listening to what this nigga's teaching Listen, when we talking about rap, see, we need criteria, Pop. I was thinking about this. We need criteria because when we talk about rap, we talk about flow. We talk about the inflection I'm of the about voice. The what Rand this is, a, is saying. It sounds like uh, like like audible. Listen to Kendrick. Therapy. Listen to Kendrick. Listen sounds to like Bible. therapy, my nigga. Listen to Kendrick. Niggas can't argue. So I'm telling you, you just all? prefer that shit. Yeah, that's true. It's all opinion yeah. based. Yeah. It, it is absolutely like all like. opinion yeah. based. Absolutely. I just Pop, man. Pop is heavy. Lyrics, yeah, man. Kendrick yeah. is is bar. I like I like say, saying shit that is, is you have to listen to it again. That's Kendrick. Nah, that's Nas. That's nah. you know what I mean. That's Cole. Uh, oh, I, I, I listen for the feeling. <laughs> the, the last thing I would say: most of these drill rappers, <laughs> these niggas actually like a lot of these niggas My are actually outside people. doing that shit. Yes, Kendrick. And that's why like they get wrapped up thing. so quick. Like, like the the K literally shit. saying what they did, yeah. like. That's snitching. Yo, the clay, like he told on himself. <laughs> on himself. He told on himself. In the like, scene. Oh, we you can't. They, they, they can't about? use. What we yeah, talking wait, about? Wait, wait, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What we talking about, man? Right, right, right. Free all the young guys, man. Immediately. Oh, what you talking about? God damn it, son. <laughs> and Gunner's album was fire. Go, go stream that. What would you think about Futures? I know you're a big fan of Futures. Futures album, I fuck with it. It was fire. But I feel like as niggas evolve, the music doesn't stay the same. As niggas evolve, I feel like the music don't stay the same. So. Them niggas be bugging though. Go yeah. get a nigga 30. <laughs> Just yeah. take that off, please. <laughs> Fuck. Nigga, they, they, they already got it. Shit. What do they got? I don't know what's yeah. going on. Let's go have something happen. No, 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 no. Yeah. They Let the niggas that nigga go free album. cast too. Hey, word. Man, Ben, they should have been free cast. That was another man. one that That's disappointed me. Crazy, man. man. Take it away. Yeah. Shout out to Netflix. Word, yeah, Rich. The Netflix one? Shout out to Netflix, man. Damn, so you just... Talking about expression. Well nah, talking about expression. Nah, do a segue, man. If you're going to get the black people locked the fuck up, you might as well talk about hey, them niggas too, right? Let's go. There you go. But I agree with them, though. Who, Netflix? I, I don't want to be wildin'. Yeah, I love Netflix. How do I... Shout out oh, I mean, to Netflix. Y'all niggas held it down. Real nigga shit. Until oh. y'all do some fuck shit, but until then... We, Salute we to used Netflix. To live I ain't never canceling my shit. We used to live in a time where if you didn't like what you was watching, you just changed the fucking channel. Now you want every channel to change to your liking. What's the point of having channels, my nigga? If mm. everything is going to be the fucking same. Mm. All right. Shit is fucking stupid. Mm. Let's break down Fuck with that. what happened. So basically, Netflix took a stance and they said, <laughs> so real if the quick. employees are offended by Dave Chappelle, mm -hmm. Quit. So work. to give conflict, Netflix, to give context, I'm sorry, Darnell. Amar, sidebar, anytime you say real quick, it is never quick. I know you're not talking, my nigga. For real? I know, but I never say real quick. <laughs> but I never say real quick, right? Fire. I can't say that. I never say real quick. I can't fuck. say that whether Because you're never... <laughs> we you're in for the that. duration. Pause. Oh, shit. I don't, know what, pause. I don't know what that I means. I don't know what that means. Was that a threat? I, I didn't pause um, anything. I didn't say, hey. <laughs> was that a threat? Holy shit. <laughs> it wasn't a It was a proposition. Where's our HR? Darnell, you need to get on this. Uh -huh. It was pitching wood in the pod. It's was <laughs> 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 bugged out. <laughs> no, <it's wild. laughs> That's fucking disgusting. Word. Pod pitch. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if you're disgusted. Pitching in the pod as well, my man. That's <laughs> filthy. Woo. To give context, Netflix just added an artistic expression policy, right? Basically, what they said is uh, not everyone will like or agree with everything on our service. While every title is different, we approach them based on the same set of principles. We support the artistic expression of creators we choose to work with. We program for a diversity of audiences, audiences and tastes, and they let viewers decide what's appropriate for them. And they told their employees, as employees, we support the principle that Netflix offers a diversity of stories. And depending on your role, you may need to work on titles you perceive to be harmful. If you find it hard to support our content, breath, Netflix may not be the best place for you. Gang shit. Hell That's yeah. all I thought. So no Gang censorship for Netflix. Shit. That's all I'm on. <laughs> oh, imagine no. me calling fucking Telemundo and be like, yo, it's too oh, much fucking shit. Spanish on this shit, man. Like, come on, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> You bugging. I don't speak Spanish. And what the super fuck you <laughs> And they gonna take my show off, my nigga. Yeah. Sabado Gigante is, is fire. Nigga, nigga, nigga Giant that. Saturday is crazy. <laughs> Sabado Gigante <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> like, but I'm just saying. Why you sound the, like that, though? I don't know. That's what gets him the money. Super and blah, blah, blah. That's, that's, that's the only the way, way he gets said. him the money, though. Nah, yeah. No, he really yeah. talked like that in real life. That's really? Like, I don't know. That nigga, yeah, I don't like, know him. Imagine him just in a supermarket screaming. 
Superhead Fly Fly So it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> ill, son. That nigga's ill, son. <laughs> like, nigga's uh, wife got bad nerves because he just yo, startled her. Yeah. She just startled her. Run up on a lente, loco. <laughs> in the middle. She in the joint. Just fake it. Yeah, I just pop out the shit. <laughs> say, boy, I say, boy, I don't like on this. She cook and throw shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lente Loco. Yo, Lente Loco was lit, though. That was like the first hits from the street, almost. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know anything that's a, that's about That's a very Telemundo. underrated show. Yeah. Hits from the street? I might I might just start that back up. I'm from my son, I need money. <laughs> <laughs> hits from the street was very, very underrated. Yeah, that's a great joint. Uh, but that's the, this, I think that's the first time we've ever seen, like, a corporation take a stand. Ever. Word. Like ever. That. It's never happened. Yeah. Ever. Especially with a black person. Definitely. On the side of the black person against all whoever. That's dope shit. I mean, there's monetary reasons, but I still fuck with it all the way. Hold on, Bo. If he's saying that was his last joint, what's the monetary reason? What's no, the goal? It's not his last that's joint, and he still has a distribution deal with him. He's still producing yeah, content. Yeah, and that's facts, but it's already going to live there. Yeah. So they, them doing this, I don't know if that's guaranteed financial. I just think my son is really he's a real nigga like that. Special. The white nigga that's running Netflix, that was solely his opinion. Oh, I mean, his decision. Right? So I don't totally agree. I don't know. I, I might just, like I said, this is all opinion based, everything on here. <laughs> However, Mad I just feel like the nigga just was like, yo, man, fuck y'all niggas. That's how I feel. Pretty much. Because the deal is done. The ink is dry. Whatever they, whatever they negotiated with Dave Chappelle, they already got. It's not like they're going to get more or less now. Yeah. Right? And Dave Chappelle, just for them not taking them off and not making a big stink about it, I think Dave is fucking with them anyway. They didn't have to do this extra shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. All this does is solidify and make it even more litter, right? Yeah. It's not like a, I don't think it's a financial I, decision. I, really I feel like the I, Netflix I think... dude is a goon too yeah. because like whenever people have like any type of disruptive company, if I'm thinking back, he had a beef with like the film industry too. Like this nigga's been fighting with people for a long time. But I mm. think I think a lot of this isn't actually supporting Dave or anything like that. It's just keeping his employees in check. Yeah. Y'all mm. don't run the show. I run the show. That's interesting. That's, that's what, one way to look I, at he it. Said that shit. Spoken. When he said that's that like, just now like he was a nigga talking. who know. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? He just said that. Yeah. He was talking to you. Yeah. Right. Oh shit. That's for me. Yeah, that was for you. <laughs> nigga, you don't want to be chatting about you got employees. Nah, but I don't work for none of you I niggas. What do you mean? He he was Nigga, duh. this is my shit. Duh. He was at home. I duh. just said, yo, we he should made, make a podcast. He made, That's he, a made, fact. he made solid eye contact. He already, I already got talking to. Oh shit. I'm pretty chill. <laughs> Um, that's that's an interesting way to look at it. What I, feel I believe like, that that shit is true. It makes yeah, mad yeah. sense. That's what yeah. I'm trying to tell these niggas. You don't think rise about up that. in this month. Yeah, like <laughs> too many motherfuckers complain. They said something. Like, yeah, I yeah. got think about that. that makes agreeing, sense. you're gonna have to keep agreeing. So I understand that point. Yeah. I also yeah. felt like Netflix has always been a trailblazer. They were one of the always first, first. To, to jump yeah. out. They always first. So yeah. I felt like part of that was he wanted to continue to be the trailblazer. Yeah. Because somebody else is gonna do this. Yeah, exactly. My nigga, who's gonna do this? The part where. Yeah. Hey, my nigga, I don't have no control, yeah. and I can't even make a movie without Son and Son in them. Because you remember when Netflix had to fight to be included in the Oscars and all that other shit? Because they said technically it's not a film because so they started putting movies in the movie theater, theater for a day. You yeah. know, they started doing you know these directors, games. Niggas, man. directors, Me too. he's hated, a trailblazer. Directors hated Netflix, and now you can't not fuck with them. Yeah, I fuck with them, son. Yeah, salute the homie, man. Word up. I agree. I think that's dope. What's his but name? It, it might be totally just for him, like you said. Yeah. Damn, it's just ghosts and shit. Like the nigga from Uber was oh, yeah, literally, literally had black. beef with like mobsters. Yeah. Ted Sarandis. Yeah. yeah. He, I remember, yeah. I remember that. I'll Uber be honest. Shit. Like the yeah. taxi niggas outside. Yeah. And that picture didn't like, like he liked black people. I mean, <laughs> but, <laughs> gang, son. He gets he like, he like black people in that picture. He get money. But he him. obviously don't like them niggas more though. So <laughs> that's a fact. You feel me? I fuck with him, son. Yeah, Ted Sarandon. I remember talking to a woman whose dad was a cab driver, yeah. and she said Netflix ruined their life. Netflix. I mean, not Netflix, Uber, oh, Uber. Ruined, ruined their life. Yeah, but there yeah. used to be some real a cash influx off of tax. And then the niggas, yeah, medallion, the niggas medallion was worth like a million dollars. Nah, not a what? million. No, nah, it was yo, worth a million no dollars. No gas? Yeah. It was worth a million dollars. Medallion was worth a million dollars. Yeah. Oh, That's true. One. Yeah. Oh, niggas was sitting on Niggas had right. joint medallions. Like, niggas People were going and investing it together. Yeah. 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 People were splitting it. It was like, yeah. you had to get a mortgage That's, job That was his it. retirement like, plan. It was crazy. That Madonna yeah. was his retirement plan. Yeah, he was going to sell Uber. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 I mean, work. but whose fault is that, my nigga? Just being That's cutting life. edge, being innovative, and being the first. Somebody's yeah, going to do that did. for everything, son. 110%. When they make something better than pussy, it worked. 
That don't never happen. That's never gonna happen. Huh? That's never gonna happen. Where the bullies? Nah, 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 nah. Once they make something better than impossible. Right? Impossible. They make bitches that don't talk back. Or something. Impossible. I don't know what they're going to do next. But somebody's crafting that shit. This right? nigga you know, thinking this about nigga, it. You went full rage sir, just yeah, now. Sir, this nigga been don't Zeno talk somewhere back. like this nigga spitting. It's crazy, Pop. Come on, stop. You know, stop. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? like he's spitting. No. I'm going to just pack my bag now. Yeah. Huh? I'm going to just pack my bag now. Yo, once that. they make something like that, son. <laughs> Impossible. That, Nigga. Somebody is sitting around thinking about that. <laughs> I'm not going to be here for it. Not my life. However, you're the one that put us onto this. The incel niggas, right? That the niggas in Japan... Don't try to... Get, don't hold try on, to all I'm saying is... <laughs> hey, my yeah. nigga, I don't ever include myself in this fuckery I got going on. <laughs> ever. This doesn't apply to me. What I'm saying is, How when this... they make something better than that, right? Like you said, the niggas in Japan, that they're already on a, on a wave of they don't fuck with humans. There's no interaction. Word. They just do the online shit. When they find a way to like hone in on that, mm-hmm. and they can sell it by the ounce or by the gram or whatever it is, <laughs> that shit is going to go. Work. And the and the um, OnlyFans and the prostitutes or whatever, and that shit is going to dwindle. It's just part of life. Something cutting edge. Fortunately for for normal human being, red blooded American <laughs> niggas, it's it's nothing like it. <laughs> Never I'm just like, saying, there yeah. isn't going to be anything like that. That's why it's the best-selling shit on earth. It's it's part of the reason <laughs> niggas kind of wake up in the morning, Loki. You go to work there's, to, there's, to maintain there's, that there's situation. Folks. It's a part of that. It's a part of that. Yeah. That being said, to the when, nigga, when it's warm and in the cup, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's Folgers in your cup. Yeah, my nigga. That's best part However, of what I'm saying is there's people that are already looking for... <laughs> Supplements. Because, <laughs> right? Because dead ass. Dead ass. Huh? Replace me. Dead ass. After, after the morning Monty conversation, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like, that has to be yeah. included now in the repertoire. Yeah. Now that I know that it's out there, yeah. I can't not have that. It's like, on that now. Don't be trying to steal my way. No. So, it's on what do you mean? Somewhere. That's wait, mad no, no, selfish. No, no, no. So no. I can't, no, I can't no, have no. that. Nigga, I'm the only nigga that. No, 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 no. That's nah. We can't. You can't keep that. Obviously, it's the truth. I was. Y'all didn't even know that existed. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Y'all didn't even know that. You I, are mad selfish. I wake up to the, you know what I'm saying? That's mad selfish. <laughs> that is, um, that's selfish. Medulla oblongata, my nigga, is right as, that's as soon as I, oh, selfish. shit, medulla. <laughs> Medusa, my nigga, right there. And so you niggas gotta wake up. You live niggas mad gotta, years without it. Niggas, niggas gotta wake up He's to like, actual coffee. Niggas, like niggas like that. wild selfish. Yeah, yeah you gotta Anyways, get poachers. I don't wild, drink coffee, wild, nigga. Wild selfish. Yeah. So yeah, imagine natural energy everything, boost. everything, <laughs> everything y'all saying. I think I lost his hat. I did it on purpose. Oh, okay. Everything y'all saying. That's my natural energy. Everything y'all saying is absolutely <laughs> correct. Wait, but to the nigga hat pop off. that had a million dollars, <laughs> natural energy boost. It's not. Everything, <laughs> everything y'all niggas are saying is correct. But to the nigga who had a million dollars Saturday and zero dollars on Thursday, none of that shit matters. I don't know what's going on. What? The the medallion, the nigga with the medallion. Yeah. Like, of course, innovation changes oh. shit. But yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You're the right, nigga right, can't right. retire now. He's got to work till he fucking dies. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. my nigga, who you really mad at, son? What do you Step want? Step your shit up. It's what it is. It's a million so, dollars right. back, so, uh, dog. I want, you to, I want you to evolve with the rest of the world. I'm yeah. sorry, that happens. Evolution, know, nigga. I've seen both sides of it. I yeah. understand what you're saying. But it's him. We're cab drivers. Yeah. I met, um, so I have a cousin. Who's older? He's like, I'll never drive. Blah, blah, blah. He ended up stopped driving yellow cab, and now he's he works at another job. But it's like, yeah. bro, how long you gonna work that job? Yeah. And then I knew, and I met another guy who I jumped in his Uber randomly, and he was like, older Haitian dude. I'm talking to him. He's like, it's the best shit ever happened. He said, I was I drove yellow cab for 20 yeah. years. He's like, but once I seen Uber was coming and seen how nobody was g- jumping in yellow cab. It's like, I sold what I had, the medallion, while I had it, got rid of whatever it was. He saw what was coming. And then now he, he went over. He didn't yeah. see what was coming. He was kind of late. Yeah. But he's like, I still got to make bread. I'm not easy. And at my age. And just arguing I, for what? I, got, yeah. I went 30 years making my own schedule with my mm-hmm. yellow cab, coming out of work, working when I want. Yeah. I can't, can't go back I'm to not it. going back to a, not a regular nine to five. Yeah. I'm not going to be. My job experience. Yeah. I drove a car for 30 years. Like, where, where you gonna work at? No. So he's it's like, a, he went. It's the pride of best shit that happened. Like, now I do Uber, Lyft, whatever it is. And all that. He's like, now he built a system and he makes a schedule. He's like, it's the same. He's like, it's not the same. He's like, oh, it's less money a little bit? Way more. Because Way less money, I mean. He had an asset before. Mm. 
and now he doesn't have the asset anymore. Talking like it's a fact. So, <laughs> no, he I'm said, just but saying. He's still making. He's like, he's comfortable. He's like, mm. I still work when I want, and I can pay all my bills. And I got bread in my pocket. And the yeah. thing is, niggas going to complain He's like, regardless. A bunch of these dudes want to be like, nah, I'm, I'm sticking to Yellow Cab. He's like, you're bugging. And I, and I get that, because uh, uh, I understand it. Like, you Because Yellow Cab is You're hurting yourself. We're, and and, and there's just no, there's not a clientele base. The only pe people winning with the Yellow Cab right now is the dudes who actually own, it. own the cab. Yeah, the, uh, the company. And that dude's not driving. Word. But my you're thing is, niggas right is going to complain, right? Mm -hmm. Evolution is going to take place. Shit is going to evolve. I, I hate that complaining ass person. So no matter man, woman, child, whatever, it shit is corny because so after trash. you're after you're so done trash. complaining, what happens? You're I, right. You knock over the milk. You ain't change it. You cry about the milk, and you when you look back, it's just still it's still there. Pause. Understood. Right. You, you have to clean, clean it up. up, son. When you say, "Ah, oh, damn, man, I just want to be able to eat," there's somebody that didn't eat today, and you complaining because there's so much shit in the fridge. You can't. You got to move it yeah. to see what's in there. Ew. You're gonna complain no matter what. It's crazy. Don't complain to me. I don't. I don't have no ears for it. Or even if you get complain, up and switch the situation, c complain for a little bit. But no, don't do what complain. you gotta do. Just don't complain. Are absolutely you feel like right. You gotta complain. It, just don't complain. Just get up and do something about it because the I situation ain't gonna change itself. But it's like, yo, if you're gonna complain, don't complain could, today and not tomorrow. tomorrow. Nothing to, to do about I it, and then complain again tomorrow. No one's coming to save you, my exactly. nigga. Everybody I understand gonna everything help. you're saying. Maybe I'm you just got talking about complaint. how devastated niggas were to lose that. Of course, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you no, know no, what? Nigga, about complaining, the stock, don't, nigga, what, complaining don't do shit. Look what just happened to Bitcoin. You know nigga, how many niggas is... That shit was Damn, everybody probably jumped yesterday. And, and you know <laughs> and you know what's crazy? There's somebody who's making millions of Uber right now. Yeah. That someone got their Uber fleet together and this and that. Yeah. And they wouldn't have that chance before because they couldn't get the medallion. You're a hundred. It's life. You're a hundred. You're a hundred. 110% correct. But what the only thing I was saying, and I was referencing the person who, whatever, the nigga, that was the nigga's retirement plan and how he thought he was going to yeah, be able to yeah, take yeah, care of himself. It, it kinda and he was devastated. Of course, course, of course the nigga's driving, like, of course the nigga's driving Uber now. 110%. All I'm saying is, like, I understand how that could, like, fuck niggas up. Simple. That's one thing me and Pop got in common. Like, <laughs> ain't no complaining, <laughs> nigga, we problem solvers. I thought, we we may not I agree thought, or something, but we don't complain. I'm, we just I'm with. I'm with. What's next? How do we I'm, how do we get out of this situation? I'm with all the time. Spend an hour on the phone, problem solving only. We don't even be joking and laughing or none of that. Then the jokes come afterwards. That's but we right. on the phone figuring this shit out, son. Every day, how to I'm with how to problem advance solving this shit. all the way. I'm with problem solving all the way. 110. percent If this shit caught don't on fire tomorrow, butt. you about to say pause. No, 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 I'm not. They'll go. I'm going to problem solve That's the already happened. No, you don't have to worry so about it. So next week we ain't spending five hours in here. No, I'm not saying that. Oh, I'm saying if this shit, if this shit, if this shit burned down, yeah. of course we'd still figure it out. Yes. A part of me would still be like, damn, of that course. was inconvenient. Oh, That's all I'm saying. Nigga, it's still inconvenient that we ain't in the basement. Nigga, what you mean? That shit hurts. Worse. Listen to this shit. Rap City in the basement. The only, the only upside to that is like, no niggas don't yeah. have to worry about flooding. Y'all never had to take care of it. I'm nah. just saying, the flooded shit Nigga, was aggravated. Nigga, get you a shop vac, man. You be all right. A shop vac. <laughs> Run the water right outside. You be all right, my nigga. Word. <laughs> That's what you do. Lay your stash down. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I wish that shit was that That shit's like a buoy, Nigga, yeah. so on, on everything, I walked downstairs one day, yeah. and I heard the scratching. I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. I, I looked seal. The fucking, <laughs> the window <laughs> by Amar's desk, I looked behind that shit. It was a raccoon trapped behind the window. Yeah. Nigga, I was like, what the fuck is happening in this shit? <laughs> I, I left. Yeah. I left out of fear this shit would just break through the window because he was lifting the shit up and made eye contact with me. So oh, I was like, I'm out. I'm out of here. You hate animals, my nigga. Nah, I love animals. Raccoons are just something else. To... You should have tried to imprint on it, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they will <laughs> fuck you up. Huh? Oh, raccoons are roommates. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Got a highlight alpha. About the raccoon. Yeah, his raccoon. That shit is horrifying. That nigga, like, is... Yeah, I don't know how he be doing That shit's, like, fucking, like, broke Stockholm fight, Syndrome. Like, he's, he's, he's cool with it. That was, that that was mad funny. funny. Yeah. It was yeah, a raccoon. It was two raccoons. I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that nigga up. really, yeah. like, they was, was employees. Like, hey, he man, told them, yo, stop. And them niggas stopped. They really stopped, too. They went to their separate corner. You lucky, my nigga. I ain't even know right back. And them niggas really walked away from each other. Yeah, they really listened. It was really getting popping. Like, raccoon And looked at them like, oh, shit. Man, you lucky this nigga's here. I was like, what do you think was the weirdest? <laughs> I think it was one of your coworkers. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Wow. He was the they raccoon whisperer.
That's weird. That's weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> and them shits ain't even, those is wombats, my nigga. It you ain't even got raccoons. Yeah. You gotta see these shits. It was humongous. Because uh, the niggas that keep them shits as pets, they're not really your pets, they're your roommates. Nah, and them shits will hurt you. Yeah. Like, you, as long as you're not bothering them, they will they won't they won't do shit to you in the house. As soon as you object to some shit, dog, they will dismantle you. How do you, you. know this stuff, though? Dog, I saw a video of a nigga, like, talking about a raccoon rooms, or something. Rooms, so I'm he was sitting there room. online. Chat room. Was he white? Yeah, he was definitely white. And the dog? raccoon is eating popcorn off his stomach and watching TV. Yeah. So the nigga's leaving the raccoon alone. But as soon as he's like, let me get a piece of popcorn, like, feeling too comfortable, that shit turned back into an animal. And uh, fucking... Ripped rip the nipple yeah, off. Fuck. Fucking wild the shit. What that means? The fuck? You koozie wally. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. I just found out it was a white dude that voice. A what? Wow. Not surprising. Yeah, not surprising, but I feel a way about Cleveland, it. Cleveland, yeah. yeah. You couldn't get a black nigga to do a black nigga voice? <laughs> yeah, that's wild. God damn, no. son. That's I'm not, nasty. That motherfuckers hate us, my nigga. <laughs> they did the same thing with a poo, though. A poo is white? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. So. That makes sense though. But they had a small price. budget, so they had one yeah. nigga voice like 20 niggas. I mean, and that's shit. Shit right there. Yeah, that's mad racist. <laughs> wow. Oh D. He may oh, be the shit. most racist character on Might be. TV. Yeah. Yo, he is. Apu? Apu's the most racist character they ever yeah. had. There's documentaries about oh, how why is Apu still That yeah. shit is Yo, that's crazy. Racist. I never really thought that's about racist. that. That nah, is, that's, that's pretty, mad yeah. racist. I never even son. thought about that. Did he have a dot and all that? No, he didn't have a dot. He had a turban covering the dot. Oh I so you just know the dot underneath the turban. <laughs> you ain't never seen that pool without the turban. For, for a fact. So, it's there. Before we get to, finish getting into YBW news, we have a friend. Uh, you guys met Marcus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marcus is half uh, Indian, half Trinidadian. And No, you said that wrong. Oh. He's what is Trinidadian. Right. And half American. Black American. Right. African mm-hmm. American. So, okay. Oh, right. Yeah, but, I thought he was Hindu type shit too. Wait, that's well, no. that's the Trinidadian part. That's the Eastern Trindadian Indian Trindadian. side. Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah, East India side. No, I thought he was like full. Yeah. No, nah, he's not. No, full. no, no. His so, dad's from like was born and raised in Nepal. California. <laughs> nah. Oh. No. California, like oh, oh. California. Yeah, Compton. Black like, like, oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like some real shit. Um and I think it's Watts. <laughs> Nepal is his, fucking his crazy. Dad's name nah, is, nah, you see, you see Marcus Carter? Nah, I see, nah, his, see Marcus. I'm just saying Nepal is a Can I say his dad's name? Nah, yeah. nah, nah. We don't need that. Just in case he might be fighting, fighting. Nah, nah, nah. You know no, what I mean? No, Extradition no, and all no, that. Rest in peace. He passed. Oh, oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Rest no, up, no, man. His name is Oscar Lee Carter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, as yeah. American. Sounds <laughs> like. Yeah, nah, he gets it popping. Yeah. His gun go off in Compton. They know about him. He he He's heavy had what there. you call it the marksman award and shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah. and the service. Yeah, they like, did the perfect shit and all that. Oh yeah, yeah. He and to, he wasn't even in the military. That was shooting niggas. <laughs> yeah, he was in the street. <laughs> yeah, that was shooting <laughs> niggas in Compton. He's, Marcus told me to shoot squirrels and shit out the tree and hang them. Yeah. So the other squirrels knew like don't come around here. Yeah, they didn't come Damn. in his backyard. Yeah. No squirrels. I used to take flies when I catch them and take all the legs off and then <laughs> put it there and say yo tell your friends <laughs> leave it all out there for them to see. Look, all the legs going. This thing is still alive, twitching. And can't go nowhere. It's l- Word. Uh, but back to the story with Marcus. So when he was a kid, he met another one of our friends. And he said, yo, why you ain't got that red dot in your head like, like the rest of Damn. Me? Mad racist. Yeah, that's wild. Um, but in some not so funny news, Quadri Sanders uh, in Oklahoma. Rest up, man. Two officers Corny. Uh, gunned him down while he had his hands up. Corny, my name. Oh, one of the officers was black? Yeah, Hell unfortunately. No. That's a cop? Wow. Nah, that nigga look dangerous, my nigga. <laughs> Holy shit. I would have never thought that I was thought... police. That nigga looks dangerous. The son. one to the left looked like one of our, our father kids. Yeah, he looked like police. You know, son got... looked like Kimbo a little bit, though. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the two police officers. That's Bimbo Slice. <laughs> Ronan Nathan and Robert <laughs> Hinkle are the two police officers that. Hold on, hold on. Who Robert Hinkle? It says on the left. That's him. Oh, I, white I white dude is Robert Hinkle. Ronan Nathan is yeah. Yeah, I guess. the black dude, and they're the ones who gunned down Quadri. And they got yeah. two first. Sanders. Yeah. Rest in peace. That's Rest in peace to Quadri. Damn, I hate Quadri Sanders. You gotta be a yeah. black cop, too. Son. Wait, so he was, they That's both surprised. shot him while At his hands were up? Yeah. Yeah. Running, he was running away from the niggas trying to stop. 
Hands up, all that. You ain't see the video? It's nasty. Nah. Yeah. Let it I off, can't man. watch no more of them shits because it's like, dog, I'm becoming desensitized to shit. Like, this yeah, shit's hard. Yeah, it's hard. It is hard. I feel you. I don't like The shit now, that, that they remove it. off the internet and just and leave never on get taken is down. insane. Yeah. That's a fact. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Quadri Sanders. Rest in peace. Uh, a little ass get clapped on the gram. They got to remove it. Right. But a, nigga, a whole nigga can die. Yeah. A little ass, you know what I'm saying? A little ass, get, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of ass. Mm -hmm. It'd be 11 seconds of ass getting clapped around. And it'd be like a substantial amount of ass, so you need, you know what I'm saying? They shut it down. This. I remember it down watching uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, and there was, a, there was like a psychologist on there that says it's like unnatural for humans to see a certain amount of death. Like yeah. your brains like kind of like get rewired or some shit. Mm. You never been to the hood. Um, they said like all black people are suffering to, on some degree, like, PTSD. PTSD. I can believe it. I mean, my nigga. I can believe that. You don't really realize it until you meet people that ain't from around there, mm -hmm. and they explain their experiences and how like shell shocked they are when something happens, mm -hmm. and you can tell you like my nigga, nobody even got shot. It was just a yeah. sound. Like mm -hmm. you can hear the shots, or whatever, right? And your reaction and theirs would be totally different. You like, yo, dog, where you, like, where you from? <laughs> this shit is crazy. Like, even even I, that whole black people. Oh, nigga, not at all. Uh, even that whole well, one black person runs, everyone runs. Dog, that's that's funny, but that's like a form of trauma. Niggas just know on some like what is that like lemurs or whatever the fuck. My son, Gil Scott heroin. Yo, <laughs> you, sleep, you good? Tired as hell, man. Gil Scott heroin is crazy. Oh, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's <funny. laughs> he, he was, My fault. He was late, like he like this. Yeah, that nigga's. <laughs> The heron. The heron. It's crazy. My uh, son got heroin. It's crazy. My boy was out of here. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, it's. <laughs> Gil's got heroin is crazy. My fault, oh, son. Man. I didn't yeah. realize. Uh, <laughs> I was trying my not fault, to laugh. My fault, son. <laughs> Go ahead, man. I didn't realize. Going to the movies without metal detectors yeah. was a thing until I was like 16 years old. Or the school. Whatever. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you just go to Sunrise Theaters, right? Yeah, and then we went to Sunrise. That was how movie theaters were. You had to get to movie theaters wild early, like 30, 40 minutes before. Because right. you have to get go the through the metal down. detector to pat yeah. down, put all your mm -hmm. stuff there. So when I got older and I started going to like other movie theaters, I used to be like, there's no metal detector. I used to be no. a little bit unsafe. And it was just so assigned, no weapons allowed. Yeah. Like, nigga, how you know? Yeah. I used to feel. <laughs> I, Mad unsafe when I went to spots that's without metal detectors. I realized that's not like that. That was the only theater. There, that was like there that are people hood. that like if they see a fight, we're not even talking about shooting. If they see or witness a fight, they are visibly shaken. Yes. Like he punched him and then there was blood. And, like dog, that's well, every day. For Will Smith people. got slapped, son. Do you Will see Smith. how he was acting like yeah. like a bomb went off in there? Yeah. Or when son yeah. pitched woo at you and at, it, at the at the popcorn. Do 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 I was shocked. Don't do that. Nigga. That didn't happen. Yo, I, I was it. fucked up. I didn't. I, first, no. of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, I was appalled, and I don't even know a nigga named Paul. So I was just like, <laughs> wait a minute, what the That's fuck is going on? Happen. I was appalled. <laughs> I said, who Paul, nigga? I don't even know nobody named Paul. But I was appalled, my nigga. I think that was the first time I've ever been appalled, my nigga. Keep it hundred. <laughs> You said RuPaul? It's not. Oh, <laughs> so, hey, you know what's fucked up? Room. Hey, you know what's fucked up? <laughs> that we're, at the, we're at the movies. Pop orders and Pop spins off and he's standing in the back, basically setting a trap because he knows he knows son is moving. <laughs> Never mind. Son. Wait, wait, hold on. There's nothing I can say. Y'all a movie date? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Come on. That's nigga. crazy. This shit is homework. I didn't know about this. This shit is That's homework. crazy. <laughs> nigga, tight. You ain't, you ain't invite him to your date. <laughs> Reg had about those chicas, my nigga. I'm going to give it a hundred. About two. Bad bitches too, and you know what I mean. Tell them, Reg. Fresh from we Bayamon, just so nigga. happened to be at the movie that niggas literally sat across from the theater. Fresh for, in from like, Bayamon, nigga. He had shit two. Shit is crazy. Wait, Dos chicas, nigga. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> across the room. Yeah. And the male-female ratio was like yeah, yeah, it, it made sense it versus. Got you. The sausage party. Word, nah, Paul, that's crazy. Whatever. Yeah. The, yeah. Ooh, whatever soup that yeah. was. My son. Yo, Ooh. he is blatant, son. Okay. Flagrancy. He doesn't mince words. The, he, he said the ratio me. was good. Yeah. It was better versus a sausage party. Yeah, that's wow. Oh, yeah. What's your next wife? Oh. Yeah, it were. So. That's a crazy celebration. And <laughs> it was wild joints in there, though, son. I believe that was, that was game and six. The security guard ran down on me and tried to bag niggas. That might have been game five, actually. Game five. That might have been game uh, five. 
Well, somewhere in the playoff series of... She picked Reg up like this. That was crazy. <laughs> of the Mavs versus... She's like 6'2". My fault, man. <laughs> this is mad funny. He says, my fault, go ahead to Reg. And Reg wasn't even talking. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> that is true. My fault, my fault. My fault. <laughs> um, in, the, in the Mavs versus Suns playoff series... Yeah. I never somebody, heard that. What? What you say? Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody decided they were going to push... Yeah. You know, like, get physical with Chris Paul's mom oh. and wife. Yeah. A fan. Person. A, fan. a fan. Yep. Come right? On. Come on. And I was like, this is when Mouse in the Palace happens and they're wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, if Chris Paul would have ran in the stands and punched that kid in the face. I mean, which he has all you, right to do. You heard what they said happened, right? Well, basically, they're saying those those people wanted a hug or whatever. They felt like, oh, like, they wanted, like, to greet them or give them a hug or whatever. Like, they felt entitled. His mom and wife? Didn't yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were trying to get to Chris Paul through his family or some shit, but they were sitting near them and they wanted to, like, I guess, engage with them about him or some shit. And I guess they were there to have the game. They're not even the celebrities. They didn't even sign up for that. And yeah, this shit is insane. And no, even people Chris, feel entitled. Niggas got to learn to keep their hands to themselves. Real. Like, That's simple. Even if Chris Paul didn't want to hug them, that, that can't be their reaction. Nah, nah, nah. And you, you know, and don't I don't owe you shit. And Chris Paul said, "I see you" or whatever he said to him after. But I was like. Chris Paul, you can't do nothing to him still. Yeah, you know what I mean? Can't. Word. That's just, Once so down tried. the line, if something happens to them people, Chris Chris Paul is still at least in the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like at least being questioned and looked at and investigated. You feel me? Because he has the bread to get you sent. And then they yes. banned them niggas for like a week or something. Nah, that's that probably, ain't enough, man. Like you know, heat of the moment, he responds like that. Yeah. yeah. But if it really comes down to it, he's not. You gotta think about it. Too much now, you gotta think about it. It's not worth it at that yeah, point. Yeah, it's too much. Mom blue. Dukes and wife, Everybody's whoever good. it was, everybody made it home fine. Their life is fantastic. You feel me? Is it worth jeopardizing? Absolutely not. At the time, though, you know what I'm saying? You, that's what we need to work on our responses to, to disrespect. That's all. You know I what mean, I mean, people are human beings, man. Throwing exactly. popcorn in niggas' faces, and they, yeah. they're here to, like, entertain you. Came to watch the game, but they're popcorn. still human Oh, he threw popcorn in their face? No, I'm saying it happens all the time. You see players oh. where they're throwing food in their faces, and niggas kind of, like... Nigga asking for the number. That's what the I thought. That's, that's, honestly, that's what I thought it was going, I thought. So, Instead of gave you the popcorn shower and threw your bag, the empty bag so, at you, too. <laughs> welcome to the room. I will never address... <laughs> I, won't, I won't address this again, but... A nigga, <laughs> you're guessing that a nigga possibly threw popcorn at me. Mm. Nigga definitely was throwing. Y'all had like a mud fight. It actually happened. <laughs> Go ahead. Real life. I give you they ten mud jokes it. right now. Get them. I leave it. No, I was. I'm never gonna Go address it again. I'm Go just ahead. saying, anything wild or flagrant, you can't really address like this whole episode because in real life, you flew to another country and impoverished men scratch, like <laughs> watched your back. <laughs> It happened. So real you, you prefer, it's documented. You prefer it to be niggas with money. Yeah, you, that's what you want. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not they at all. They want to tell you you're a good boy. See, but you see, right? you see, that's if, it, if it was nigga, nigga I don't, knew I don't care about. I don't care. I don't care about your. Switch the word. word. I, I don't care. Yes, I don't care about who does it when I'm for you. Just as long for as you, as long as you get for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, it's crazy, right? But what I'm saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But at the same time. Those niggas don't have a choice. That's the only problem I have with it. If you were having whatever nigga with money, <laughs> no, no, those niggas are forced funny. to. They that's don't have funny. a choice. That's they funny. don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, this is the only way they compete. <laughs> them niggas have a wife and kids. <laughs> they don't they leave their wife and kids nigga. every day. They don't want to do this. Like I say, like to, to, my come, <laughs> to come watch <laughs> niggas' backs. They what? don't want to be what? there. They <laughs> so don't want to be there. Like I say, like my nigga. They don't want to be there. Them niggas is the victims. That's all I want to point out. Them niggas is the victims. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> that's funny uh, as shit. That was, that was a good that was touche. Uh, a fire extinguisher went yeah, off for my YBW. son. Yeah, I got a YBW. My YBW this, this <laughs> <laughs> My YBW this week is going to be um, a little bit lighter. Last week it was Roe v. Wade. That was a, a, a dense topic. Yeah. This Yo, week, niggas don't act, niggas act like that doesn't affect us somehow. We all have absolutely, kids. I mean, we have yeah. daughters. It absolutely This is going to directly us. affect yeah. every one of us in here. You us three. A, Absolutely. Every one of us three, this is going to affect us, my nigga. Absolutely. Son, this shit is wild as shit. Niggas ain't giving enough, like, backlash for this, my I nigga. Get. This shit is wild. I don't know how to help, but I'm fully in, in support of the opposite. Like, I don't know what to I do, though. You. I like, agree. What, I about we, that. we got ten daughters between. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, what are we to do? That's crazy. That's yeah. ten women, son. By Eve, how many you got? 
I got one daughter. Okay, so that's 11. 11, you got 11 daughters. Nigga. How many you got? I got three daughters. Three. Reg has four. four. Pop got three. Oh, wow. Smart. We got 11 daughters. Nigga, this shit is going to affect us. Man. Absolutely. Nigga, we have to help. Like the understand. idea that I have to explain to them that white men in Washington decided what they can and can't can do with their, their bodies, bodies. Is, is disgusting. And I've been teaching the exact opposite. You don't got to do nothing to no nigga say, ever. That's you know what I'm saying? Fact. Nigga, ask you for a hug, tell him no if no. you feel like it. I don't give a fuck if it's your uncle. 100%. But, but my YBW... Like, nigga, this is crazy. Especially if it's your uncle. This week it was gonna be a little. It was gonna that's be crazy. that's crazy. We have none of them uncles in us. It's gonna be a little bit lighter. We met, we talked about it in the Patreon. Y'all catch the Patreon or white rappers? You brought up a subject about white rappers. This yeah. week, um, Jack Harlow was on his press run promoting his album, and he uh, played a game on a radio station. They were playing songs. They were playing black songs yeah. and asking him to identify black music. Mm. And they played a Brandy record, mm. and he didn't know it. Wow. And what they were like, "So record? don't you do you even know who this is?" And he was like, "Nah." Wait, what song? Because it's the Angel, Angel in Disguise. I think was the song. I don't know what that is either. We, it was a popular one. It was one that you would know. One of the one that Dark Child. Angel. Yeah. Angel of Mind. Dark Child. Angel of. It was. It was. Angel of Mind. Now that's 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 Monica. Yeah, that's, oh, that's Monica. It's, it's Angel something, but I'll find the song for you. But um, basically, they asked him about you know what well, they said. We'll give you a hint. Is what they said. Yeah. Because he said I don't know the song. They said it's Ray J's sister. He said Ray J got a sister. Hey, wow. wait a minute. Ain't that Brandy, brother? So now, he said Ray J got a sister? Yeah, yeah. Wait, Had no old idea. Is Ray how old is That's that exactly the thing. <laughs> so, it brings up the question about, and this is crazy to think that... Niggas make it racial, but how old is he? Yeah. He's 21 yeah. from Kentucky. 21 from Kentucky. Like, like I told y'all, and y'all thought I was wilding. Well, go ahead. We're the last niggas to listen to Jay-Z. Anybody younger than us don't know who that is. That's crazy. 30 and under. Niggas don't even know who he is. This is a rap s star. Okay. Yeah, I mean, don't know brand. Hold on. So hold on now. Think yeah. about it. Kumo D and all them niggas. No, no, you're right. We don't, like, what you mean? <laughs> what about, that nigga's from the Bronx. I'm supposed to be champion in that nigga. He's yeah. from the X. I'm supposed to be like, I've nah, never heard of Kumo D. <laughs> I think that's Melly Mel, You right? just don't know it. Yeah. That's Melly Mel? You have. You what just don't really? realize it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. what I know, you're a historian of this what I know, nonsense. Huh? Cool Think Moldy has nothing nigga. to do with music. Hip hop. It started out in the park. Like them niggas, I don't know <laughs> their name and shit, but I, I it. and my name is, and I'm here to say, and all that. Like, dog, them niggas was ill to our parents or whoever else, and them niggas can help listen Damn. to us. Imagine trying to put on some A Boogie for, for your OG. Yeah. Nah, he's he's like, know. what, he son? You really yeah. think it's, it's 30? Yeah, Yo, 30 nigga, and under don't know. Oh, I, huh? I was yeah, gonna say like maybe twenty five, thirty seven. Power one. Yeah. You did the old school at noon. Yeah, yeah. If you listen to that now, you recognize all the songs. Yeah. Before that's crazy. we used to be like, what? What the uh, fuck what is that? Is this? That's a fact. I what think. Yeah, yeah. I think it's what you grow up listening now, to. Now, so because my kids listen to a lot of old school music because that's all we be playing. Because that's what y'all. Yeah, yeah, but, but that's then the think same. About some of friends, that's the maybe. same thing that happened to us when we was in the back seat. We didn't like that shit. It was just on. It was on. Niggas and then, had this. You hear it enough, then you're like, oh, I know that. And they're fabulous for dramatics or whatever. The nah, my kids fuck with old school R&B. Like, when they nah. clean the house, they put that shit on. Nah. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, R&B is, yeah. is classical, though. Yeah. 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 R&B is classical, and the old R&B is way better. Too. She plays yeah. mad 90s R&B. Yeah, but it was that. way better. It's, it just it, sounds it was, better. Yeah. But I would agree. And, and You're absolutely right. They'll listen to some old school R&B, and then put some random drill nigga on who's not saying anything but... The shit sounds insane. Yeah, but Jack Jack couldn't identify Brandy. He didn't even realize that Brandy was uh, who, who yeah, Brandy was, or that there was, or that Ray J even had a sister. He only knew Ray J, which I just thought was interesting. And you're right, part of it is age. Yeah. So, but Indy Irie went out and kind of attacked him on yeah. her Instagram, yeah. and basically she was saying that uh, why are we allowing someone who doesn't know our culture? To profit. To profit so much from Where our culture. So, Justin Timberlake was like doing all this shit. Like, Word. Oh, Yo, that was wild as shit. Uh, and Justin, and um, she, she made very well. She just has a bigger platform now. Yeah. But. Um, no, she has a bigger platform now than she did back then? That doesn't even she make does. sense. Of she course does. she does. What? She does. Where'd you just be talking? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. I don't listen to NDRE, so if I'm bugging... Well, then why? Then why are you just shouting out? <laughs> so NDRE is bigger now than she was before when she was doing the ball chips? Yes, let's move along. Yo. You doing the ball shit. <laughs> Nigga, yeah. you are I not your head. Then. Maybe when she was shit, I stopped listening. The, My bad. The crazy thing that Jack Harlow did that I kind of went by people's radar, I think, and maybe I'm just a, a bit sensitive, but there was a Drake line. He says, uh, whips and chains like a dominatrix or whatever. Mm. And they're at the Kentucky Derby. And Jack Harlow does the whip motion. Oh, yeah. he says whips and chains. Like, and I'm like, 
That's, that's the video. Nah, that's why. Did you that's see the two black guys video. staring at the feet of the mud? He don't yeah. know. He doesn't even know what he was doing. He don't know. He he that's what's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he I was like, if you check him about it, he'd be like, oh, what do you mean, bro? Like, he yeah, probably he don't even know, know how yeah. crazily offensive that is. Yeah. That is wicked. I, my said, nigga. I said, wait, what? what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> I am not defending that whatsoever. I'm saying I think the nigga just. I don't that think is he crazy. I don't I'm think he knew defending. either, but I was yeah. like, that looks crazy. Yeah. Oh, D, my nigga, in the Kentucky Derby, yes. there's still a, like two or three slaves. <laughs> yeah. in oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't even know they're free yet. The yeah. two black dudes carrying him over the yeah. mud so his shoes didn't get dirty looked way worse. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Those yeah. might be the insane. two slaves. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Them niggas don't even know. Like, dog, we are free. No one told him. Guilford. Niggas ain't even tell them niggas yet. <laughs> niggas like, don't, 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 don't tell them. Nigga <laughs> named Rudy or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They keep him in the back by the horses. Rudy? Yeah. Shit, wow. That shit was wow. crazy. But yeah, just the reality that Jack, who does profit from our culture, clearly yeah. has a lot of learning. Bro, it's, wow. it's niggas who actively do that shit. Molly Cyrus, niggas do that shit, and as soon as they get popping, they did. switch to, to yeah. country music yes. or whatever the fuck is going Pink on. Pink did it. Yes. Call them yep. niggas up. Pink yeah. did it. Yep. Pink, Pink did that shit. Pink did that shit. Pink couldn't wait to go, to go yeah. pop well, rock. Yeah. Tretch and all them niggas that ran through it too, so, yeah. you know, shout out. You grew up with them niggas though, Tretch and them. I went on tour with him. In the Booyah tribe. <laughs> Wait. You said you, you went on tour with him? You went on tour with him? Yeah, that's what's up. We need that story one day. <laughs> he, he, you know he down with other people's property, my <laughs> nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> we need that story. Look at this nigga, man. You know my boy is OPP all the way, son. Listen, <laughs> we need that story one day. You gotta have a Yeah, you know Tell me. it right now. <laughs> How many cities? Uh, six. Oh, yeah. We need that story one day. Oh, uh, so. But for now, let's get some voicemails. I can't believe you try to play India Ari, my nigga. That's I don't listen ball. to her. My bad. If I'm wrong. I'm mad the nigga said when she was doing the ball shit. <laughs> like, like you ain't currently going the through only, that. The only <laughs> thing I've ever heard from her was the I'm not my hair, but I don't listen to that music. So I'm not my I'm hair bugging. is fire, <laughs> but, that music. but what about Classic. video, nigga? I'm not the average, average girl, girl from, from the video. video. That was around the same time oh. as the, the hair trick. And is it not a great voice? Song. Right. No, it's an amazing song. So what did she drop? Ah, what you thought? Nah, it's the podcast. This KB from VA. It's the podcast. I don't know. Motherfucking right. um. Motherfucking um. I just wanted to say that that nigga Darnell look like George Hill. Y'all be talking about a lot of niggas he look like, but the that nigga George Hill really is a twin. Like yeah. they look just alike Duke in the NBA. Duke. George Hill. Yeah, but other than that, other than that though. What? He ran, he out, ran out of minutes. Yeah. That nigga. What George Hill look like? I yeah. never really wanted to get that off. I just point guard from Milwaukee Bucks. Let me see no, how he looks. He's on the pace. He on the pace. I, I thought he was on the pace. My nigga should have waited so after What's next? to make that Who's phone next? call. <laughs> Yo, wait. Oh, no, you wasn't there. No, you was there, Darnell. What? When, what? Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, Jugan? <laughs> yeah, he was. Wasn't he there when we was Who there? Who next? He looked more like Baif, my nigga. <laughs> hey, man, it's Otto from Jersey, man. Uh, I'm probably our youngest listener. Bunch of old ass niggas and shit. Nephew! No word. Niggas like 20 now. So I just want, you know, first off, shout out all y'all, bro. Red, Donnell, Lamar, motherfucking oh, Brad, Baif. All, yo, first of all, when you say that Baif got a day off and his nickname Squeeze, that's wild AO. Because what is a nigga named Squeeze doing on his day off? <laughs> Not my business. Not my business at all. <laughs> shout out to y'all niggas, man, for me. You feel me? Like, I I be getting through my week. Real shit. Just off of the podcast and time. You feel me? Even playing old ones back and all that. Like, I'm in college and shit. My first year of college, you know what I'm saying? Like, Shout I'm in the deliverance, pleasant, and pain. You feel me? Where's the pot? Where's my mother? Like, hey, stop the young niggas, man. I just, hey, real shit. Y'all need to keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all inspiring the youth. Y'all inspiring the new generation of motherfucking, like, Weird ass reg comedy and shit. <laughs> Y'all niggas is, hey, not everybody got a reg, my nigga. That's we got a reg. Yeah, I think, my nigga. <laughs> And then, I really should have been taking this shit. Yeah. Like, we got a reg with yeah. a TM, trademark. Yeah. Yeah. Shout name. out to that nigga in his first year. Whoa, that's a fact. Right. Shout out to you. You know, might be our youngest listener. That's, that's a fact. Nephew, real. salute, my nigga. It's love, man. Yo, what up? This Chimo, a.k.a. Stutter. Hey, man, I'm looking at other podcasts and shows, and I'm starting to notice a lot of these cats are biting y'all lingo, man. I'm, I'm peeping that shit, and I'm like, yo, why are these niggas giving cops or at least saying the names? Like, you know, at least say 
starting their over age pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, say somebody say somebody name. I'm just peeping that shit, man. Y'all shit is really influential. Yeah, I, I messed that up. Really influential. I ain't keep, keep saying that word, but y'all shit fire, man. I ain't gonna keep saying that. Hey, man. Salute keep to doing what y'all do when y'all blow up. Keep the same format, man. This is coming from one of y'all day ones, man. Peace. Appreciate that. Salute, my nigga. Yo. That's what's up, Thank man. You. Love, man. I appreciate that. To answer that. this question, niggas don't shout us out because if they did... They want to keep it a secret. Yep. Yeah. What you mean? Of course. They want to keep getting free content yeah, and ideas. Why, why would they give up their source, my nigga? Then they just going to watch us instead of them. Right. Nigga, this is a training pee. ground for content. If the shit works, <laughs> niggas are just going to steal that shit. <laughs> Yeah. It's a you proven got, ground for you. You gotta get that, that influenza treated or whatever you said it was. <laughs> <laughs> Salute, my nigga. That's love, right. man. I appreciate right. that. For sure. Gratitude. And we see. Reg, this is your arch nemesis. I heard you were trying to revoke my access. I thought we pieced it up. You trying to vote me out like Survivor? That's crazy. Don't hold grudges, Reg. That's such a growth. No pun intended. Oh, shit. I thought we agreed to a peace treaty. I don't want no smoke. You're the law, and I'm lawless. Respectfully, of course. Let's be Jekyll and Hyde to other people, not to each other. I'll be Nat Love and you can be Del Orlando. Make jokes, not war, Reg. Lobbying behind the scenes is not Stop that, beloved. Peace or peace is your choice. You know where to find me. Oh! No, 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 no. no. Hey. Peace right. or peace is absolutely <laughs> she's just prepared. Ransom! Wait, Ransom first of wrote all, reading that. First, first of all, wrote that somewhere. First of all, let's not, let's not rush past the fact that she just performed slam poetry on the shit. <laughs> we got to snap to that. No, no, that shit was to... prepared. She wrote that. I appreciate that. Come on, dog. And she wrote it in cursive. Yeah, I know. That was crazy. This was slam poetry. Yes, yes. She was in the crib like... She performed that. That was Jesus Christ. There was some stomps and shit in there. I heard it. Definitely did. Shout to Mara, though. Shout to Mara. That was There's no stat. Like, honestly. I think she really just wrote that. I know, but she said, Arch Nemesis, like, I'm losing sleep. Like, I love all of y'all. Like, why? Like, this is the reason we get up and do this shit. If I hated niggas, why would I be here? But that's what she said. Nigga, it is fucking 2 a.m. Niggas don't have better shit. We don't have social lives anymore. pieces, nigga. So you obviously choose the pieces. You don't want no shot. You don't want no shot. No. I'm scoozy. I'm scoozy. My bad. But I'm saying, niggas don't have social lives. Nigga, I don't even plan shit anymore. Niggas be like, nah, we gonna, shot. niggas be like, yeah, we gonna be out of here on time. Nah, this oh, day is shot on, up. Dog. It's Yo, over. I don't It'd make like that. shit. I people would be like, oh, I didn't invite you. I didn't tell you because I knew you was gonna do the part. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, oh, it's no sense, like man. It's all love. They, I was just trying to prove a point. I have a strong sense of justice. I don't have anything against you. Strong sense and of justice. I, I OD'd. I yes. OD'd a little Lieutenant. bit. And the like, you being all black power shit, you should understand that sense of justice. That's all I was saying, man. Like, I mean, all love to all the women in the chat, For and sure, she pays always. and all that other stuff. All the Patreon fact, members, man. I'm honored niggas even give a fuck what I have to say. Salute to right. all the Patreon all the members. Patreon. I appreciate all our Discord God, members. And if you're not subscribed to the Patreon, stop being broke. God, like, yeah. I'm told me say that. Mad disappointed that <laughs> poetry ain't around no more because that would have nah, killed. Yeah, that she, she killed. That, that. would have killed. Something. If that's yeah. the last, if that's the last um, VM, I wanted to. Shout out to uh, somebody who sent me a DM yesterday. His name is Marquise. And I'll try to get through his DM real quick. It wasn't too long, but he said he just finished watching episode 64 and he yeah, wanted to like thank us. looks like a dramatic essay over there. Yeah, From he here. wanted to thank us for talking about mental health. He said he moved from Jersey to Florida to attend school at FAMU in 07. He got forced to quit school after the 08 market crash, and he ended up being stuck in Tallahassee. For a long time, he was broke. He's feeling like a failure and a burden to his family. And in 2015, he almost ended his life. Um, he said he was that depressed, but he found the strength to keep fighting. He said he's a construction engineer now working in Atlanta. He watches the show and just hearing us talk about some of the topics that we address, it reminds him of how precious life is. And so he just wanted to thank all of us for the show, all of us for the, con you know, the, the way we go about what we do, bringing, high, uh, bringing light to a lot of uh, certain issues. And um, I just wanted to tell him thank you and, and keep your head up. I'm glad that he was able to turn his life around some, deal with the depression and, and keep on pushing. So Salute, shout out man. to Marcus. Salute. Shout out. And thank you for the DM. Uh, I don't know, man. If anybody ever feels that way, and I'm glad the, the podcast could could help, but like the suicide shit is crazy. Like I had a friend of mine who did it, and it's like it just feels crazy being someone left behind when, you know, don't do it. There's numbers and shit that people can reach out to. And I'm glad the podcast brought you some type of peace, which is, you know, 
And it's mental I'll health awareness. Work. Work. It is mental health. May is mental yeah. health awareness. Yep. Yeah, it's a- mad shit to do. I hit a joint one time in the rain in the Boston Crab, and I tried to put one of my feet on top of her back like that just to see if I could do it. So it's just mad shit on the bucket list to try. Like, there's no reason to die yet, my nigga. It's mad shit to do. <laughs> You feel me? It's just wild shit. I didn't know that we was going with that one. Nah, it's just mad oh shit. I tried to put my foot on the back of her head, like to push her down because we was on the beach. You know what I'm saying? It's wild rain and shit. I was trying to push the face in the sand because she was Did asking me rain? to do it. Yeah, in the rain, my nigga. Word. It was crazy, my nigga. Okay. It was very intense, my nigga, but word. <laughs> Long story short, though, I'm just saying it's mad shit to do. And if you're ever feeling like that, I would look up some more shit on the bucket list and add to it, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I would agree. Ain't nothing on the other side, dog. What's the rush? You gonna get there? You End feel me? Time. Live life, man. Yeah, we it's lost Kevin. Shit to do. We lost Kevin Samuels at 53 years old. It's Black men are dying too young. Well, and preserve your life. Out of shape, Paul's like. Yeah, preserve your life. Yeah, live your life. Enjoy shit. your life. You know, around the corner, what you could contribute, man. Well, absolutely. Shout out to you, Marquis. Shout out to you, man. Well, love. Definitely. And then nephew from earlier too, man. Nigga, 20 sure. years old watching us. Get your degree, bro. That's fire. Done. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, we still going? Uh, <laughs> so I didn't tell y'all about the time when my boy, my boy decides he's gonna have some chicks over. He's mm. like, I got a friend for you. She comes over. She's a good-looking girl, and then my other friend's like, "Yo, she's kind of missing part of her finger." Mm. So like, first knuckle like here is going like no, mm. and then she like wants to use like. I felt the thing like in my ear and shit like that. <laughs> like she's like playing with my neck and fingers. Why? And I'm like, nah. but at this point now I'm committed. How does this shit be happening? To now I'm committed to the mission at this yeah. point. So, end up clipping. Right? Oh! The disabled joint. It's a missing finger. You're going right? to jail, my nigga. And then she just kept going to like, like she fish hooked me at one point. Like, oh, get the fuck like, out of here! Was, you make your no! shit. It was mad make your disgusting. Shit she was putting her fingers in your mouth. She's like, she was, I was like trying to back away. She like kept going with like the little yeah. finger. Like, but what <laughs> type of joint? Yeah. First of all, what you type of nigga up. do you? Does she view you as to fish hook you? <laughs> So why didn't you stop? Like, nigga, fuck Cactus Jack. I'm out, my <laughs> nigga. Fuck is wrong with you? Nigga hit Mankind in the crib. Fuck is wrong with this nigga, man? This nigga fuck Why didn't you stop it? Why didn't you stop it? Uh, uh, the Express was moving. Yeah, Express was moving. Sound, sound, sound. What you thought? What you tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? If you could change your thoughts, you could change the world. So much more to life than chasing diamonds, gold, and pearls. Lately, it's been debated. They may be getting the greatest. I'm joking, there's no debate. You can't ignore the great. See, I'ma switch the world up with my 15 seconds of fame. Tell you a little story about way back when. Snotty, no shorty, rocking scuffed up tin. Still drop a triple double on your whole damn team. So much on my mind that it can't recline. The thought of cloud nine seems so sublime until you get the cloud nine and the sun don't shine. These niggas grass not greener than mine. The thief of joy is what comparison is. And I'm so much better. Don't compare me to them. No, no, don't compare me to them. I'm so much better than what you thought. What you tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? Hey, what you thought? Huh? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What you thought? My crew will ever be caught slipping. You tripping? Lil homie, we on the mission. To enlighten the masses, acquire get some assets. A few accounts that I can stash some cash in. Without rhyme or reason, depending on the season. We just try and get it. This could result in creeping. Police investigation, we get from silent treatment. Forever granny's baby, get society's heathen. Views don't align, but you still pledge allegiance. Born to be your beacon, shining light on the legion. Yeah, I'm wide awake, still feel like I'm dreaming. I got no time for sleeping. Up, uh, battling demons. Up battling demons, I got no time for sleeping. Still feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah, I'm wide awake. Yeah, yeah, I'm wide awake. Hey, I'm working what you thought. What you tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? 
what you thought, ha, what you thought, tell me what you thought, what you thinking, what you thought, what you thought, ha, what you thought, tell me what you thought, what you thinking, what you thought, what you thought, what you thought, ha, what you thought.